Welcome to Albaraxis Precipice, episode 20. Wow. 20. Big One more and we can drink. <laughs> um, <laughs> we are uh, an Expanse, the, the Expanse, I always, get, I always get confused when I say The Expanse or A Expanse RPG, uh, live play, or actual play, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we, uh, we play every Wednesday here on, on the channel. Uh, thank you for coming and tuning in. This is the Expanse Roleplay Game by Green Room Publishing. Uh, you'll see a link pop up in the chat for that, so you can check them out and get a discount. Uh, they have a little kind of fun little promo for us. Uh, tonight, we have a guest, a return. Uh, they played with us as a core cast member, and now they are a guest. One Lauren Rutherford. Yes, hey. Abby is back. Hey. Lauren. Uh, if you'd like to tell the crowd at home uh, who you are, where they can find you, what you do, whatever you want to say, go. I'm Lauren. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Mother of Monsters Painting. Um, right now, I'm not doing a ton of RPG or role playing games or really anything like that because I just got a new job. Um, but mainly, I've just been painting and reading, and I'm super stoked to be here tonight because I missed you guys. Aww. <laughs> scored a, she scored a hit right in the field. All right. <laughs> Um, tonight's giveaway is one of our big ones. Uh, it is a copy of the Expanse uh, Vinyl Record Collector's Edition here. Nice. Got, got a few of these, only a few thousand of these made. They're, they're getting harder and harder to get. Uh, you may enter to win tonight. Tonight's core, tonight's secret word is, and uh, we'll give away the storyline, Luna. Ah. Luna. <laughs> it's... Yeah, I'm sorry, Michael. I, I love how like, you build up, and I'm, you're, you're such a conspiracy theorist that it all... <laughs> It just makes sense because that's where we are. <laughs> Onyx, yeah, he's just always thinking of that stuff. All right, so yeah, so you go ahead and uh, hit uh, type Luna into the chat, and you will be entered to win a fine vinyl record. It's actually got some really nice art in it too. Uh, I think um, Scott, you have one, right? Yeah, it's a nice piece, right? Yeah, it's very nice. Got some cool like labels, and one's blue, one's clear. I like. I always like when they're asymmetrical like that. Um, once again, too, there it is. Hey. If, you hit, if we hit our sub goal for the month, which uh, we're at 20 out of 100, so we got a little ways to go for it, uh, we will give away a copy of the Expanse board game by WizKids Game. These are getting hard to find. Uh, they should be reprinted, I hope, in about a few months, but uh, fun game, so we'll be giving that away as well if we uh, hit the 100 subs. And last but not least, the best way to support the stream is you can sub, which is great, but we also have a Patreon where we have bonus episodes. Uh, there's the link there in the chat. Uh, you can go check that out and get some previews. We just I just posted a, a preview of some pretty big stuff coming up for us here, uh, which we'll announce probably sometime early next month, maybe mid next month. Pretty stoked for that. So go ahead and uh, sign up for our, our Patreon. You can get some cool stuff on there. All right. Oh, and last but not least, uh, we also have merch now. There's, there's T-shirts. Uh, None of us wore a t-shirt tonight, but we all wore Everyone wore them last week, so I'm not like I'm not mad. But we have uh, the Avaraxis Pessimus Dice. Which are right there. You can go get them. They roll uh, a lot of threes, like, a lot of ones. Um, well, last That's week they were, last week they were actually on fire. Yeah. Uh, week two, they got to kind of break them in, but week two was a good week for them. So, all right. Well, very good, everyone. What about the next week's episode? Oh John? shit! Yeah. Oh, baby, I forgot about that. Yes, next week's episode is uh, we're not doing a regular episode, so it will not be episode twenty-one. We won't be legal next week. But we're going to be doing our special horror Halloween episode one shot called Escape from Eros. If you know about the Eros incident, you kind of know how it shakes down and it ain't nice. It's going to be that. Uh, we have some special guests. Um, I know that Sam's playing with us. Scott's playing with us. Donna's playing with us. Um, and then we're going to have special guests, Emily and uh, Troy from Green Ronin Publishing as well. And Emily plays with uh, Andrew who was on the show last week too, uh, in Second Star. Uh, so it's super cool having them on. Um, we're looking forward to that one. We have a, I'm gonna try some new stuff with the overlay. I'm gonna try some new kind of game mastering techniques using this game for horror. Um, and it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a horrible, horrible time. Hor <laughs> a horrible time. Um, so please try that. But we are raising money during that for Take This, which is a uh, charity that raises uh, uh, awareness about mental health issues in the gaming community and provides resources for people. Um, so we thought that's a great resource to do and what better way to secure people's mental health by horrifying them. Um, <laughs> but uh, we, have, we have a humble goal of 300 bucks, so we'll have details on that next, early next, or mid next week around like on Tuesday about how you can contribute and also interact with the stream, like actually like uh, change the results of the game and, and kind of manipulate the players a little bit and 
help them out or have bad stuff happen to them. So that'll be a fun time. So thank you for that. All right. Well, let's pick up the adventure. The last we left off. <laughs> <laughs> it starts like that, huh? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Pull it. Let's do this thing, man. Let's do it. Don't 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 make me linger around. All right. Um. So last we left off, uh, the Titans Ball had had a some party crashers come in that ruined the time. However, though, the party managed to find a rather relevant guest. And Jasper Grimes blew a hole through the hangar bay, managed to kind of land the Sinclair down, uh, got on it, and got the hell off a of Titan uh, away from the people storming the gates. The man, uh, another one of the res- people you rescued though was a suspect of yours that you believe is connected to Sebastian Pope. What he is, although indirectly, and he's giving you the name of one Ozzy and And on Luna. Uh, we, he says that his current go between him and Pope. And as far as uh, Khan's explanation of Pope, he says, I haven't seen him in, in, in over a year. I, don't know, I think he's on Luna, but I don't. He could be there, he could not be. But as far as I'm sure, he's doing a lot of business on Luna right now. So, heading your way to Luna, you check who you know up there Myrtle's dad, obviously, and her sister. But you also make contact with your longtime friend, Abby. Um, seeing what she's been up to, her investigations into Sebastian Pope, revenge for her, the death of her lover. Um, and uh, But one of the more interesting parts of your travel through space has been kind of reading the feeds about what happened on Titan. And you, you, you see a lot of reports about one Father Zhang rescuing people. Apparently, he had assaulted and killed several of the terrorists routing them w- while you were making your escape. Um, and he's being regarded as some sort of hero of Titan. Um, a lot of you didn't think he had it in him, but apparently he did. <laughs> and he went... Uh, is, it, is it Nakazaki Plaza? What is it? Naga, what is it? Naka... Nakatomi Plaza? Yep, Nakatomi. Nakatomi Plaza. He went Nakatomi Plaza on him. <laughs> yes. He was he, he was diehard. But in like a... But, yeah, I didn't know he had it in him. Yeah, he was he was diehard but ordained. Ordained hard. That's what we call it. Okay. He did kind of scare me a little yes. bit. Yeah, he, he just disappeared. Yeah. And reappeared in the media as a hero. Yeah. All right. So, oh, we got some churn pushing. You guys want to... Yeah. Oh, yeah. We want to start like that. We do. Yeah, yeah. Turn, turn up the hard mode. I respect we gotta, it. Yeah, we got to time it while I'm doing something real sketchy. Yeah, wait until Onyx is going to defuse the bomb and then yeah. everybody... Un- oh, when I hit the, the Luna, the Luna Lotto. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, as you approach... Hey, John, the- can I imagine that I'm the one who called Abby, like, uh, as friends and basically kind of said uh, some along the signs of, like, hey, we get in close to finding that Koyo that killed you, Sata Claire. Uh, we go into Luna if you're anywhere nearby. Nabby, you, you get a message uh, from your, your former compatriots, uh, Jack Rabbit, saying they're on their way to Luna trying to find Sebastian Pope. Someone you've been trying to find now, uh, been investigating his business and such, um, but it's been, as far as his actual location, it's been unknown for over a year. Okay, so I'll just respond back with, I'll see you there. All right. <clears throat> So you, you, you guys, reg- uh, Myrtle goes through the register. She kind of comes back a little, a little sunk in, a little defeated, saying, uh, she's like, I tried, guys, but I, I can't afford one of the good hangers. We're going to have to dock in space and then uh, rock it down to the to the uh, city. Basically, she's saying you can't land on the surface of the moon, is what she's saying. Is Myrtle feeling all right? right? This is very right. unlike her. She, she seems kind of uh, apprehensive about going to see, see her folks, uh, or see her dad and, and her sister and stuff like that too. Um, it, it seems okay, but it's also always kind of like she didn't think she'd be back this soon. She didn't have really the time to prep. But uh, as far as she's concerned, she's not going to let them uh, find out that she's in on on the surface of the same body without going to visit. <laughs> um, we've all been there. You came through town. You didn't say hi. Yeah, it doesn't go over well. So. Um, but you guys make orbit 
land no problem, very standard stuff like that too. Uh, once again, no weapons are allowed on, in uh, Lowell City. Uh, so you guys have to stow it all uh, on the ship. Why is it every time they say no weapons allowed, that's when we get attacked, huh? I don't know. Yeah. yeah, everybody else gets weapons, but then we're not able to carry them. It's weird. <clears throat> Um, as you, as you, uh, dis- John, can I put a wrench in my pocket? Like, oh, can I, like, carry yeah, a wrench? This yeah. Way? I'm gonna yeah. put the nightstick in my pocket. You wanna put, like, the colossal asp in there? Okay, so you, you collapse the thing, you put the, put it in there. Yeah, I'll grab something from engineering, just like, yeah, some tools or something heavy. Yeah, you'd be better off bringing the wrench with, like, a toolkit, Jackrabbit, versus, like, just walking around with a wrench in your pocket. Nah, it's just the style, man. This is what they wear on the moon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so Onyx, you bring a toolkit with you, no problem. Uh, I'm gonna need from Wyatt uh, either a stealth check or a security check, your choice. How about neither, because I have neither of those. Alright, uh, stealth is dexterity, sec- uh, in- security is intelligence. Fourteen. Okay. Do you try to bring the, the asp through? And it like it's pinged by like the the metal the detectors right when you come in. Uh, it's not like a really like legal weapon, but they do go to confiscate it. I'm just gonna use it as a hammer. <laughs> yeah, not the, the, the not the kind of thing you need to be hammering on the moon, sir. And uh, they confiscate your one of your batons. But you do know that uh, that uh, Onyx does have a toolkit full of like blunt <clears throat> objects that'll do it do it a pinch. Yeah, I afterwards, at you. and I'm like, this is what I mean about this stuff kind of bullshit, you know? They say don't bring that in, but we can bring all this other stuff. They don't think very much, do they, these, uh, these uh, inners? Yeah, and if they give me time, maybe I can uh, make us some weapons too, you know? Because I can make a, I can make some real quick. It, it would, you'd have to have access to a shop and stuff to do so, but you could maybe put some together in a pinch, you know? All right, um, as you guys disembark uh, in Louisville City uh, to the, the docks there, uh, you're greeted by Abby. Um, Staying there, um, do you have a sign? Or how, how do you want to do it, Abby? <laughs> that would actually be hilarious, so yes. Right. So you, <laughs> there's like a quick like stencil piece of uh, like metal plating that has like on chalk, or like, like, like on like a grease pen on it saying, you know, Sinclair or whatever it is. Oh man, we big time now, Abby. We big time with a sign like that, huh? What'd you do to your hair? I needed a change. Yeah. Onyx <laughs> got new teeth too. He need change all the time because they fall out. Yeah, yeah. I painted them, but maybe I'll paint it and match your hair since we you're back with the, with us for this for today on the moon. And Onyx smiles a che- a checkered black and purple smile. <laughs> Looks fantastic. <laughs> I also got a new hand. <laughs> and he knows he has he's missing half of one of his hands. It's now a prosthetic, or it's a well, cybernetic. Like awkward handshake, just like three <laughs> fingers. <laughs> Still getting used to it. Okay. So you guys greet each other as nice, uh, nice little reunion. Uh, staying here in the port of Louisville City. Uh, do you guys want to? Uh, Myrtle says she's gonna bug her off and go see her folks, her, her dad, and everything like that too, and see what she can help out. Maybe that might he might even be able to help out with like the weapon situation, or she might be able to grab, like raid his his stockpile. Um, but uh, yeah, do you guys want to go get like a room or something like that, or do you guys want to go get like a um, a, go have a place like to talk, or we should really yeah. find a room. Okay. Yeah, something something on this maybe on the side that doesn't draw so much attention. Okay. And there, there's you guys can go further into the city where there's like there's more parts that are underground. Most of the city's underground. Mostly the only stuff on the surface is just um, like docking uh, and maybe a few kind of fancy places. Uh, but you guys go further down into the into the into the moon. Find a nice. Uh, do you guys want to go to a bar? Do you guys go to a hotel? I heard room. That's kind of an open ended term. Yeah, we want a hotel with a bar, right? That's what we want. One thing where you can drink downstairs and then crawl upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Not a problem. Uh, you go ahead and you find a place called um, the Essence Resort. Uh, it's it, it it doesn't it does have an essence, but not so much a resort. It's kind of just like you're guessing. It's it's, it's kind of a divey place, but it, it'll work. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys go in, uh, get a room real quick. Uh, who's paying for the room? I think we're going to have to all chip in or... Yeah. He's got some yeah. money. Right, who's got yeah. money? How much script you got? Yeah, what's, your, what's your income score there, Wyatt? Uh, three. Mine's but, a three, two. Oh, you, you all... Mine's a five. Okay. Oh, you guys... Oh. All right, Abby, go ahead and roll 3d6 and add five to it and tell me what you get. I'm not even going to say mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, is it a one? Yeah. It is now. Funny. Okay. Yeah, you, it's not. It's a cheap place to get a room. Um, you go ahead and get the room, and, and it does grant you. Uh, they have like a like a conference room, which is more of just kind of a place with like a pair of terminals. Um, it's not really much of a conference room, but it'll do in a pinch. Or you guys can go to the hotel room and like talk uh, talk to each other. I'm cool okay. with wherever we go. <laughs> Yeah. I'd rather go somewhere we can get a drink if we're gonna do some talking things. Got, you know, got, talking, drinking, that's that's all the same thing to me. They have an attached bar. It's not like a high-end hotel bar, but it's an attached bar, you know. Yeah, oh yeah, these drinks on me. This okay. one's on me, y'all. Okay. Yeah, so you, uh, you throw it down for, for a few bucks here. You can get some, a little higher-end stuff, a little cheaper than you usually can back on the belt. Um, but uh, you get everyone what they want. You guys cozy up to like kind of a booth there. Um, you have a room, like a, a hotel room. If you guys need to go up there to, to or actually a pair of rooms, honestly, with how much uh, Abby was able to pull on that. Um, but yeah, you guys, you guys set up and you're kind of set up. There's like the bar life here is not really lively right now. It's pretty mellow. You're guessing you're in between shifts or on the back end of one. Do you have any idea what this guy looks like? We're looking for the Kazi guy. <laughs> yeah. Um. Pretty, yeah, you can you can put it to the records real quick. Uh, you could ask Abby to pull records on him. You could try to pull records on him. Uh, did you guys want to try to pull records before you got here, or do you like, or do you want to do, do it while on site? I'll just do it while we're here. Okay. Yeah, okay. I want to see like when he works, if he owes any debts. All right, uh, you can give me uh, give me an intelligence check, uh, research Onyx. Okay. Yeah, and then if I fail, you I can reroll. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm telling Abby, like, this is the coil that might know where to get that Pope guy. So, 10. Okay, 12. Uh, wait. Yeah, 12. I'm going to reroll that. That's actually a success. Okay. Right. You're, you're thinking this guy is going to be like some, like, Abby, you're talking to Khan, who's like this kind of snake. He's like this corporate fixer. He's got like on the stuff on the lowdown. And what he's talking about, this Cosby guy is public. Mm. Like, you pull up his picture real quick. You pull up um, that he was born on the moon and has actually, has actually never, there's no record of him ever even leaving the moon. So he's a, he's a hometown guy, you, you know. Yeah, he ain't scared. What kind of person never leave the moon, man? There's so much of the world out there. Yeah. Um, so afraid of getting shot when he leaves. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, he's scared. Go to, go to foreign lands and get shot. Um, <laughs> All right, uh, so you pull out information real easy, and it looks like there's even more to dig on him if you want to, Onyx, or if someone else wants to try to dig on him. But Onyx, you shoot the information to everybody. I mean, you guys are like, you have photos of this guy now. Not even an issue. Um, and he kind of is, I'll give you a, I'll give you a quick. Uh, he's kind of like a, uh, kind of like an olive skinned guy. Um, he's got kind of a, uh, kind of a goatee that kind of comes down a little bit with kind of a, a, a very fancy mustache. Like he like takes a lot of care into his hair. These are the fair amount of product in his hair too. Uh, kind of a pomade type thing. Um, and he's pretty, I mean, not someone, you definitely would not mistake him for a belter or a Martian. No Martian, he caught death with that, that haircut. Oh, yeah. But like, the, yeah, he, and he looks like he's holding on to some kind of like old, like old timey style uh, kind of haircuts. Um, but um, yeah, the, the, pretty easy to, pretty easy to spot, no problem. I would turn to um, Wyatt and Onyx and say, like, uh, what the, what's the deal with this guy and Pope again? He, he's in contact with him, but do we know how or why? Well, we know he's the go-between. Uh, that's what Khan said. And uh, if Pope is here on Luna, we know that that uh, Kazi, he, he had a direct line of Pope. So if we get to Kazi, we get we can find Pope. I would say yeah. he's our best bet to get to Pope, for sure. Yeah. And Khan... Where is that? Han also mentioned that the kind of stuff he was fixing up for the Kazi Pope connection, he said like he's pretty sure there's like some sort of cryonics or cryogenics like research going on on Luna somehow that he doesn't know he doesn't know where it is, but he knows that's what they're based on the chemicals they were asking for. That's what they were doing. Yeah, maybe he he helps uh, you know smuggle in the chemicals Pope needs or hide the cryogenics stuff. But this guy, 
This guy know know something. Um, Abby, give me a you can you can give me either a research or a technology test. While they're all kind of chatting about this guy, uh, you're digging more into Kazi. Yeah, we find him. We shave his head. Seventeen. <laughs> we shave his mustache. We shave Ooh, nice. his goatee. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna mount it and put it in the galley. <laughs> my, my war trophy. <laughs> Um, so, Abby, you kind of looking at this guy a little bit and, like, even more, I mean, he's, like, not hard to find at all. Like, it's, like, shockingly easy. Uh, for a guy who's, like, this fixer, you're like, this is the amateur hour. Um, he's currently actually employed at the space docks, the, the more, like, commercial industrial ones, uh, next to where you guys just came from. Um, and he oversees the third shift. So his ship's off right now. But he is, uh, he works there as a uh, foreman. I mean, you know where he works, when he works. It's like shocking how easy this guy is. Like, you're, it's, it's de- almost like it's suspicious, but you're like. Too easy. Yeah. Uh, let me get why. Give me, give me a research or a uh, te- research test. Yeah, intelligence, yeah. Eighteen with six on the drama day. Very nice, sir. Very nice. Um, so you, you go and you're like, all right, this guy, let's see what this guy's criminal record looks like. And so you pull, you actually pull it pretty, once again, very easy. Um, he has some minor criminal infractions, like petty theft, uh, possession of illegal substances. Like he was like, he got caught like with some marijuana here on the moon because smoking is against the rules on the moon. Um, I, I see, I see Michael shaking his head. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, dark side, dark side for the moon. Mung. Yeah. How you gonna, how you going to get to the dark side of the moon and not smoke out? <laughs> um, but um, but all of the all these infractions though, Wyatt, they're all from over ten years ago. None of them are recent, uh, and it was when he was still in his twenties. Uh, but as far as the past decade, clean. The guy who works the docks, goes home. That's it. Do they're really boring, or he's got somebody scrubbing everything he does? Yeah, or both. Yeah, or he real good. At hiding everything, and he played he played like a perfect citizen, but then he you know he doing all this other stuff. What do you all think is the the way to go about this? Right, like clearly we can walk up there and just be like, "Hey man, we know you know that poke guy. Tell us where he is." Or uh, Finn Onyx, he he shave off all your facial hair. <laughs> but uh, we could also like maybe we follow him around instead. I don't know that what what kind of things you're thinking about here. We could follow him around, maybe put a bug on him somehow. Yeah, because I think he, he probably more scared of Pope than he would be scared of us. Yeah. And John, in any of these searches, like, um, I'm like, do they have the equivalent of like social media where you can figure out where they like hang out because you see pictures of them in a certain bar or this like- is the, Yeah, you want to you kick up the research a little bit? All right, you want to go to the next yeah. level? Okay, so you want to get out of the public records and start kind of digging through this stuff. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, you can even start. I mean, you can even ask people around about him if you want to try to dig on social media. Because I, I do know that Jackrabbit likes the forums. That's what um, I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And uh, you've been, you, you're like, show me them aliens. Like, I got there's the moon men out here. <laughs> they got to be out uh-huh. here somewhere. Uh, give me an intelligence test. Uh, intelligence test research. Um, four in the drama dice and doubles four. I'm gonna use a. Um, I'm gonna use a, what do you call it? A stunt in a second, but that's eight, nine, 10, 10, 13. 13 if total? that passes, does not if pass. that passes, does not it doesn't, pass. I'm gonna, dang. I'm gonna burn some fortune. Uh, I'm gonna be clear, you, you cannot burn a fortune. There's, you can't, you oh. have to get a seven on a die to actually succeed that roll. It's actually, this is a harder roll. Yeah, you would not be able to succeed. Cause you'd be able to get to a, uh, okay. well, you, got, you got a 13 you said? Yeah, you need, a six, you need a 16 to succeed and you can't push anything up that high, so. So I start, I'd so need a, I'd need three more, so I could push up my one die to a four. Oh, it was one of them one? I thought they were all fours. I'm sorry. Uh, I got two four, okay, gotcha. one, and then plus oh, yeah. four. Yeah, push on the. My research. Oh, okay, push the. Yeah, push the one up to a uh, five, and you're, you're you're good then. Okay, I'm gonna do it, and I want to use the. Um, I want to use the. Uh, what do you call it? Um, I kind of like this flashback one. It's an investigation stunt. The test reminds you of something important you forgot, and the GM reveals the identity or existence of another source of information you didn't know about. 
So um, you dig through his, you dig through his social media a little bit, and um, you you know that he hangs out at a uh, specific bar, um, the uh, one place called the Crater Saloon. Um, this is a place you kind of ran through last time you guys were on Luna, and it's a little, it's kind of a rougher kind of workers type bar, but uh, with it though, like that might not be the ba- the worst place to approach him because it's kind of a social place, and a lot of the photos of him show that it's kind of a social place, so it might not be a bad move to go for. So, uh, I got I got to take care of something real quick, right, guys. Uh, uh, talk about yourselves with regards to your plan, and I'll come right back. Okay. Yeah. So you like found you found him, huh? Yeah, yeah this is this the coyote. You see, he drunk right now with all these people in this bar, like a saloon, like on Mars, man. What's up with your innards and all these like old Western shit? Well, it's, it's a little cliche, but uh, <laughs> is there any way you can make like uh, some way to track him, Onyx? If we can get it on him, if we oh see yeah, him? oh yeah, no problem. We'll put, we put we could uh, slip some on him, put a bug on him. Don't we have some drones we can use too? Didn't we get those or something recently? Oh yeah, we got she our drones. The ship. The ship. Oh yeah, you guys got a lot of upgrades. Could we, could we buy a bug? Like if we can't, like if we can't make one. Um, you could. You actually have a source for that because you remember uh, you talked to those one folks here on the moon that made the bug that you guys found on the ship a while back. Mm-hmm. At that uh, Circuit City place. <laughs> so they're long gone. Uh, <laughs> but this would be. Um, the uh what was it called? Oh, I got it here uh, somewhere. Yeah, it's car it's Cara Cara Electronics. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Carara Carara Electronics, yeah. Very high end though, so it's not gonna be a cheap place to buy a bug, but you certainly could. Yeah, I don't we, think that's a bad idea to at least try. Yeah, we, we try that sure. and then we could just pretend to go meet him at the at his saloon and say we're looking for a job or something. And and, and to be clear, like the drones you guys have on the ship, they're like a meter and a half to like three meters wide. They're, oh, they're, they're, they're meant to repair. One's a repair drone and one's like a, a has advanced surveillance gear. They're meant for like extended uh, time and space and stuff like that. So like they're not they're not spy drones. You know? um, and they're, they're only meant for space too. They're not meant for like atmospheric uh, conditions. Yeah, so, do you think Onyx? Yeah, I mean, we could bug him or we could find out, I don't know, like we gotta get his terminal because it's really like probably how he corresponds with Pope. You know, maybe he does meet him in person, person and stuff secretly. But I wonder he's got to be communicating, or they gotta meet up at some point. If we were able to get his terminal away from him for a minute, like maybe while he's drinking sometimes, and I can distract and get you that terminal. Is there any way you can hack into that so that we can hear whatever he saying to other people? Yeah, maybe Abby. Abby could hack it a bit, or we could yeah. do something. Yeah, switch it or make him a, like a dummy terminal. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be good if it stays with him and he doesn't think anything wrong with it. You know what I mean? That way he just go about his business. You know? Maybe we gotta get him real drunk. <laughs> um, I can work on that. I'm good. At, <laughs> I'm good at getting people drunk. Yeah, and actually, you guys managed to even dig through. Uh, you do pull his home address. And you have his like his number for his terminal, so if you guys want to call him, you could call him. Um, and then if you guys want to try to dig anything more up on him, you, you might be able to a little bit here and there. But uh, why? I mean, you're always you're you're you've been the detective work. You always know that like I mean, digging stuff off of the network is one thing, but talking to people might be another. Uh, you could just ask someone around here. Maybe there's some there's some folks around here that seem like they might be dock workers or something that might know the guy. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. You see, anybody looks like they might. Are we in the bar? Yeah, you're in the bar. Yeah, you guys are hanging out. You guys are getting your drinks, and they're all friendly. And you can ask the wait staff. You can ask the bartender. You could uh, go up and talk to like the, the the front desk person at the hotel. Uh, there's some workers hanging out, just drinking. I mean, there's just. I say, I'll uh, let's go talk to one of some of these dock workers and see what we can find out about him. See how uh, how he really is. All right. I don't know what goes on his presence on. Who, who's gonna go talk to the dock workers? I think, what? uh... What? You doing it? I was what? thinking, Onyx, you got the skills of the 
Oh yeah, I can pretend I'm really looking cool. for like a job. Oh, yeah. or something. Just okay. bring your two bring your two box over there since yeah. you can it anyway, you know? Yeah, that's a better idea than I was gonna go with right. the, the graffiti in the the bathroom for clues. Right. But uh yeah, let's do this. So Onyx goes up to the man in the bar and shows him his tools. <laughs> and Bruce seems to impress them thoroughly. Yeah. No, so, uh you um you guys walk with these guys and they see you go up and go, hey, it's, hey, how's it going? Let's uh Oh, oh, I saw oh, that yeah. you guys, you, you two are away from home, huh? Oh yeah, yo yeah yeah. We we are uh, stopping at Luna, looking uh, you know, we're looking for some work on the dock, and we heard there was uh, good work to be found under a real good dock master named uh, Kazi. Uh, you know thing about this this guy? Ah, uh, Kazi, yeah, Kazi's all right. He works the third ship, right? Yeah, third ship. Yeah, we don't we don't work we don't work with him. We work the second, but uh. Yeah, it's, it's all right, guy. He does a good job. His, his numbers are always good. We walk into a good, clean workspace every day when we, we're coming off that. What's uh? Yeah, you know anything about him? We think about joining the third shift. It, it works with our schedule, and uh, yeah, I just heard things like he he loved gravity so much he never left this place. <laughs> I kind of laugh. Yeah. Kind of laugh. Um, he goes, "Oh, uh, now they, I mean, you want a job? Then you go talk to the dog master. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna, we just show up and they pay us to to work. I don't know what." They pay you pretty. They pay pretty good, cause I heard. Kazi, bad. I, I heard Kazi. He do pretty good, man. He he only running that thing or what? Uh, no, nah, he's, he's he's all right. What you what you got your interest in Kazi for, man? Like what what's happening well, there? I, I just you know I just I heard he he was a good guy to work with. So I always check out the the you know the boss man that I that we're gonna be uh, working for because I don't want to get cheated or nothing like that. I heard he was honest, but I just uh, gotta make sure. He's honest guy, yeah, he's he's okay. We got Smith over there too. He's a good guy to work for too. If you're looking, if you're not picky about what time you want to work at. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I talk to Smith and he knows some more about mm. all the boss men's on the shift. Yeah. Yeah. No. Hey, come on down. You can get on down there and get a good gig. I mean, they always need welders or something to fix something up. Something's always breaking out there. You know, that's just how it is. That the, the damn dust around the moon. And he, that's one oh, thing yeah. you guys will kind of notice is like the moon. Every even in t inside, even with the air recyclers, recyclers working, the whole place smells like gunpowder constantly. <laughs> No, it, it, it's the fine dust. It doesn't matter what you do; you can't get away from it. It it's, it clings to everything and it gets through stuff really nice. It's super, super fine. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Let me talk to Smith because uh, something break, I could fix the thing. All right. Well, uh, let me give let me give you my uh, uh, I'll give you my union rep number. You go on down there and talk to him, and uh, you sign up for us. We'll have a we'll make sure you get your. Uh, I was looking for a good hand and get you a kind of a reference there. You seem like a nice fella. What about oh, you, yeah. man? He's like, well, this one though, it looks like you don't even need a power lift there. There, dusters, you dusters can do some pretty good work there, huh? I, I, I can do an all right job. I'm not as good with tools as uh, Mr. Onyx here, but yeah. Oh, he modest. He good with his hand, man. He's strong. And I sort of push Wyatt up there. <laughs> yeah, was like, ah, yeah, no, it always be a big set of strong hands. Always good. A good back get you on there. You know, you, you uh, can you run a loader? I'm sure I could figure it out pretty quickly. Uh, that's not gonna be good enough. If you go down there and apply. You gotta have your classification. Do you have? A, do you guys have a union rep? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, look at Jackrabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We all we got. Yeah, we got a union rep. That's of course the, we do. Doesn't yeah. everybody? I look around. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's that's the skill she picked up in uh, Jesuits for Belters. Uh, <laughs> so wait a minute, and I'm just gonna say. So you tell me we want to work on that dock. We gotta, we gotta get some union rep to say that we can do the job. All right, is that what you're saying? No, you gotta, sorry, I just gonna. No, your union rep will help you help make sure you got all your certifications set. So when you get the job, you can keep the job. The certifications are what you need, though. Like you're, they're not gonna put you in a power loader and just let you loose onto a ship. You gotta know how to navigate the thing, to use the different thrusters on it. Make sure you, you know. But yeah. like I know it looks like a lot of fun, but but running something with six arms isn't easy. I'm sure I could figure it out pretty quickly. I mean, enough buttons, something's liable to yeah, happen. Yeah, I mean, if we let us talk to the boss man, we'll convince him right away. <laughs> like, now nah, we, sorry, man, we got the standards with the union and the job. We, we ain't gonna scab for you. Uh, nothing personal, but you gotta get, we all got the certifications. We all went through the school, and it's, it's, like, it's, it's like, you know, a six week course, man. You could do it pretty quick. Six weeks. <laughs> I don't know if we got that much time. Did you need, he's like, well, I'll tell you what, man. He's like, if you're looking for like some work, maybe on the lowdown, just stick around here for a little bit and I'll, I'll talk to you on my way out, all right? Okay. 
Uh, up there at the bar drinking. Yeah, talking, man. All right. Back at the, at the table, we have Abby and uh, Back Rabbit. Uh, what are you two up to? I'd probably be pulling up more information right. on our guy. Um, you you can find out some stuff about his like uh, upbringing and such. Um, he's actually his he is descended from some of the original colonists on the moon, the original the original settlers of the moon, um, and that laid down like the first habitats and the like. Um, and he comes from a long line of engineers and mechanics. Uh, he doesn't have. You're noticing you're going through. He's, he has certifications, but they're not like. He, he basically, you go back and kind of get into his scores a little bit. He's passing the certifications barely. Despite mm-hmm. coming from a lineage of like engineers and like really brilliant people, he's not this like engineering genius like these other, like his like his folks were or grand folks or whatever maybe. Why does this guy seem like vanilla, Abby? He's like nothing good about. It. He just keeps seems like a boring kind of dude, man. Why you think that uh, Pope likes this guy? Maybe because he's so boring. Well, he looks kind of like a kiss ass with that mustache. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, John. Do these people that are working are they wearing like a uniform? Like yeah, they got like they got like dock workers outfits on, like flight suits with like their badges, their name tags on it, and. Their numbers and you know the, the 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 union they're part of. Like, is that the kind of thing that we could like steal something like that? I, I mean, like, it'd be easier to like try to have them printed and made for you, honestly, than try to steal try to steal some guys' coveralls. <laughs> yeah, they'd probably be too big for me anyway. You they, know, they would be too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, oh, and, and Abby, you pulled some more information on uh, Ozzy. Kazi has, despite being an Earther, like because he lives on the moon and stuff like that too, he he has a shocking. Um, he has a much more belter physique than most of these other people on the moon seem to have. But maybe again, he has spent his entire life up here on the moon, so yeah. You know the other thing we can do, Abby. Remember that time we broke into that uh, that Sisata's like home when we didn't know she wasn't gonna be there, and then we gotta like ransack that place a bit. We could uh, we could break into this guy's house when he at work on the third shift and see what we can find in there. We could now. Did I find like if he has a wife, kids? Mm-hmm. No, uh, he's he lives by himself. Uh, has a has a small kind of dwelling. Pretty humble. Uh, right. Nothing too fancy. Yeah. And I'm going to add to that, John, in the social media, is he in pictures with, like, anyone that would maybe, like, girlfriend, boyfriend, like? You dig up on him and, like, like he, you see him, at, like, hanging out with people, like, in, like, at the bar, the Crater Saloon, but it's it's never, like, him at, like, someone's, like, personal barbecue. He doesn't have, he has his arm around people, it's like, everyone has their arms, you know, take a big group photo, you know, union, stuff like that, work stuff, dock, dock worker stuff, but never him, like, with anyone specific. See what I mean? You live on this, uh, you live on this moon your whole life, and you don't even have anybody to hang on to uh, regularly. Man, he boring. Maybe he's an asshole too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, he don't seem so bright, so maybe he just get he get where he was, his position, just because he is from you know inherited it all. So maybe he work with Pope. Maybe he get tempted by other opportunities, more money. More ambition, maybe he an ambitious guy. It's true. Yeah. But uh so, we able to Abby, did can't you forge stuff, yeah? Um I don't think I can. Uh, I was thinking maybe we could forge some certificates. I can <laughs> crack some down. codes, but I don't think I can forge anything. I can try. <laughs> You're the artist there, Onyx. So yeah, can... yeah, I could try too, I suppose. Maybe we can call in the friends in the in the Martian uh, special forces, make them get <laughs> us. Uh, maybe it's like a press pass or something. You know, I was talking to that Carolyn woman. Uh, she gets into everything, saying she doing news stories. Oh, yeah. Maybe we doing a news story, something like that. You know, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe some of us go distract him, 
and then I like the idea of you breaking into his uh, his hole his hole and looking in there. We could bug that too. On the on the the chance you have a bug. Yeah. <laughs> you uh. So, why you're you're sitting at the bar, and one of the guys you're talking to comes over to you and kind of taps you on the shoulder, and he goes, "Hey, uh, look." He's like, "He's like, I get where you're coming from. You know, you need some money quick. You don't got time for certification, but uh, you you the kind that can keep their mouth shut." We do a pretty good job with that, yeah. Yeah, your your one builder friend seems like he's got a little bit looser list, but I know he's I know, thought, but he keeps his mouth shut. Yeah, but look. You're asking about Kazi. Go down. Uh, there's some people that like work with Kazi here and there. Kazi's the guy that can get people to turn a blind eye to something once in a while. Um, but if you're looking to like work on the down low, he's always looking for someone to kind of run a little bit of security, keep an eye out, stuff like that. Take a little bit of risk for him. We'll actually talk to Kazi to get something on the down low. Is that what you're saying? Well, he's going to... Kazi don't talk to people he doesn't know. I'll tell you that much. Um, he's, you gotta know someone who knows someone. Uh, I can get you. I can get you a meeting with him, but uh, it's gonna cost you. Cost us what? What kind of script you? What kind of script you guys carrying today? Well, we're looking for a job. So, what do you think? It takes money to make money. You wanna try to bribe him? Yeah, I'll try. Might as well. Right. Yeah. Roll sure. roll three d six and add your uh your your. Modifier income. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. He uh goes uh. All right. Well, what I'm gonna do is uh. That seems like good, that seems good enough. Actually, that'll 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 do it. I uh, by the way, why this eats up a lot of your your money. Uh, your income score goes down by one permanently. Because it was high, it was so much higher than your uh, piece. So, you 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 pull a bunch of money. And uh, he, he's like, all right, all right. It's like, I got your meeting for you. I know you guys need Myrtle. I know you need, you need your, you guys need to have your, uh, your purse strings to carry around here, <laughs> Myrtle. Um, but you, uh, yeah, he comes, all right. He's like, I'll take you over. Uh, I got a little bit of time here, a little, little PTO. What I'll do is I'll take you over to the Crater Saloon and meet Kazi. Uh, so meet me there in about, uh, let's see. Meet me there in about five and a half hours. And, uh, I'll make sure I'll make sure you get to sit down with the guy. They have food there at the at the crater. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah, they make a pretty good. Uh, they got a lot of drinks and stuff like that too. But you're looking for some like some fried up or uh, some kind of. Um, they do some pretty good fish out there, battered. It doesn't taste great, but it's not bad. Uh, you ever been down? You ever been down the well fully? Have we been there? Is that where we were? You have been to Earth. You you actually have been to Earth once. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't. Oh, yeah. Did I go or was that just murder? That was just you. That was, that was just, just me. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you had, yeah, you had to like get all freaking drugged up and shit to do it. Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, it's been a little while. Yeah, <laughs> but you didn't have any. You didn't have any fish down there. He's saying the fish down. He's all the fish are very bad, but this as goes down the well. And there. then what your name? What your name? A Jack Rabbit. A Jack Rabbit. He says, and you you come over, you come over the conversation and certain he's all he's like, whoa, he's like, you got more. There's more of you. <laughs> There's always more of us. Got an arm hanging on Onyx and another arm on Wyatt. Uh, yeah, he's, he's my, Levitating he's my off bros. the floor. <laughs> he's, he's, all, he's all the names. Uh, the name's uh, Jerry Polka. Jerry. Yeah, J E R R Y and uh, P O L. Jerry, this is our. Uh, this is Jack Rabbit. She's our uh, security. Like, well, I, That's true. Uh, well. Wait, he's like, all right. So it sounds like maybe you're uh, not so much looking for a job from Kazi, but you're looking to get a, have him do a job for you, huh? What do you mean by that? I don't know. It sounds like you guys need some. You got security here. It sounds like you got your own security. It sounds like you got something to move. She's the no, most. he just mean he just means security because every time he get in a fight, I get him out of it. That's all he's saying. Very true. Very 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 <laughs> true. I mean, we could do something for, for Kazi. We would be good at helping him move stuff. Or if he needs eyes out or doing stuff he don't want to do on the down low. That's, that's what we're good at. Yeah, he's kind of taking a second here. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, give me, why, give me a, a communications persuasion check. 
<laughs> Bad? Seven. Seven, okay. This guy is like, he's like, he's like, there's so many of you guys. Uh, he's like, look, he's like, I, I thought it was just you, you buddy, like, not, not this whole crew here. Uh, we want to take the whole crew. Oh, no, no. I just need a drink, man. I just ordered another drink. I'm holding my um, wrench up in the air and I'm like waving it at the bartender, like pointing. Uh, was, yeah, he's like, yeah, he's a little, he's getting a little apprehensive about the whole thing now. Like, he's not so I mean, sure about it. my money back. If you're not gonna help us, it's like, hey, you know, I, you know, you started, you started changing the deal, the deal after we already did it. Uh, there was nothing written down or verbally exchanged, or <laughs> you either give us what I paid for, or I won't have to take my money back. Do you, do you want to physically threaten them? Yeah. yeah. Do it. Yeah. All right. Uh, you big. Do you, want, do you actually want to grab them, or do you want to like, like, uh? Do it not do it through like verbal and like body language. Like body language and verbal. Yeah. Right. And verbal. Okay. That's gonna be communication, uh, I believe intimidation. Well yeah, uh, it's just strength intimidation, yeah. Come on. Kind of flex up on them a little bit. Break your drink. Thirteen. Thirteen? Okay. He uh he kinda takes a second. He's like, okay, all right, he's like, all right, all right. He's like, look, no, no, we don't no need to get this rough stuff, you know. I got a shift coming up. Uh, all right. Yeah, we'll meet at the time. That's fine. Just uh, make sure everybody here is like clean and you know no one's packing or trying to do anything crazy. All right. Pokes face to you guys. You know people have eyes on you. I'm not gonna do anything. Get in trouble. All right. All right. All right. So he kind of backs off a little bit here. So, um. All right, so you guys have this connection. He walks out with his buddies and catches. Like, Sorry, guys, I'm late. You know, he goes off, and you guys just stand there with Abby. I have a pretty good amount of information on this guy. You know where he's going to be. You have a like uh, have someone vouching for you, so he might actually talk to you. Um, do you guys want to like dig any more on him? Do you want to like head off or like, get some stuff? What do you want to do? Do you want to go stake out his house? Yeah, yeah, you can go to, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can go to his place. Um, let's get some drinks. And, some and I just want to ask, like. You all, uh, what are you thinking of play? We what? What kind of job we gonna say with this guy? You know, we just gonna say hey. Uh, we could say we know the one to do things. We know Khan, and uh, maybe that we we met Khan through the channels, and he said we could get some work. Like we we're good at getting like work, quiet work, secret work, and that that Kazi maybe you know he hire us. Um, we we kind of good at that stuff getting stuff done that no one wants done or something that, or, or we that's not, that's not a bad idea at all oh yeah it's maybe end. break into his house <laughs> let's go to his house first but me let's go there first that sounds fun okay, then is, we can uh, see if this guy really boring or he teaches a fronting is that circuit city anywhere near us as <laughs> <we're walking? laughs> Uh, car, car, car. Um, it's in a higher end district. I mean, you guys have five and a half, hour, half hours. You have, you could easily get there and shop around and make it to the saloon, no problem, if you want to, or try to go by his house. You think we should try to get a bug, or should we just go straight to his I'm going to ask you this real quick. Do you guys think you can afford a bug from this place? Probably, Probably not. not. Yeah. <laughs> That's the start there. Your the other option is... Abby's got money, though. Just... Abby's got a little more money than you guys do, but just so you guys know. I'll throw down for a bug. Okay. All right, so you guys want to go to Kara Kara? Okay. All right, so you guys want to go to Kara Kara? Yeah. All right, you head, yeah. You head through the, the city, you go to the high-end district. Kara Kara Electronics uh, is a high-end uh, electronics store that specializes in, in uh, custom-made gear, uh, specifically custom-made gear for electro for security. Uh, this includes like automated like uh, electrified floor plates to prevent intrusion, uh, taser turrets, but also like cameras, bugs, um, stuff that's more discreet, but tends to be very high end. Um, it's known and it's definitely envied. Uh, you guys roll up to it, no problem. I think last time we were here, I was here. And I don't think I was very nice to these people. <laughs> so I might just kind of stand outside. I think I was in there with you. I think you were if I too. I remember right. Yeah. So I might look at like Abby and Onyx and be like, 
but whatever you do try to get two man if you're gonna be expensive let them do the buy one get one free sale or something like that you know see if they got a clearance rack yeah I'll, yeah i'll go with abby in and then let her i'll just be like looking at the device maybe i could find a good one yeah. and then let me ask like how how are you dressed onyx today and uh, abby how are you dressed yeah it's a high-end place it's a high-end place people like wear like i think a lot of time you guys came or myrtle came in her suit and then uh i believe uh why it was dressed up a little bit too i mean i'm probably just yeah i look like trash oh, you're a slob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm just grungy because i've just been working you know, yeah it's okay maybe they under remember the radar me, maybe they remember me from last time because i did have that other bug yeah you just show up one bug all right you yeah. go on in uh, the two of you, uh, as you do, people, someone walks up and says, uh, Welcome to Car Car Electronics. Uh, what, how can we make your life uh, better today? I just nudge Onyx to be like, You do the talking, I'll pay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Uh, well, uh, oh, yeah. There. Uh, we, we're looking for a, um, you know, affordable, good, dependable sort of surveillance uh, device. Well, we you certainly. got on sale. We certainly do sell dependable. Uh, devices of the sort. Uh, affordability is a relative term. Um, yeah. We have a few pieces ready to go. Is that what you're asking for? Some that you can take and go right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some we could just get now, make a deal, and be gone. Mm -hmm. And are you looking for visual, audio, infrared surveillance? Uh, well, maybe. Full spectrum. Maybe. I mean, like it's like elaborate, like even like, yeah. to, like seismic sensors. I mean, it's pretty elaborate what they can well, offer. Probably audio, visual, and then maybe a little bit of, um, you know, tracking signals and stuff off of terminals. Okay, so you want like a radio frequency interceptor? Okay, she she kind of takes the order up and says, okay, um, I have one like that right now that we have in a kind of a our abandoned stock, if you will. Um, if you. Uh, this is the, it just kind of shows you the price. It is not cheap. Yeah, layaway. You do layaway. <laughs> layaway surveillance, right? <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Um, he goes. She goes. Um, yeah. Uh, no, we don't. Uh, might might I, there's usually a down payment for any kind of custom jobs, but we could certainly uh, provide you with uh, the device today, as well as the interfaces and the security codes for it. Would you? Um, how would you be paying today, sir? Yeah, I, I sort of look at Abby. How would we be paying? Would I have enough for this? You can make an income check to see if you do. It's three, six, and add your five. Okay. Abby. Abby. A 20. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So you are able to afford it. Your income score goes by one permanently. Okay. Uh, you have to blow a lot of cash on this. This is like you're you're really cashing your credit and your stuff like that too. Um, and uh, she says, "Oh, okay. Well, uh, here is G. Like she comes on, brings this little box with the and it's got like the bug in it with like, the codes on it and like on a little like uh, piece yeah. of like plastic and such like a little piece of glass that you can put into your terminal to whoever you want to access it." Um, she says, uh, "Is there anything else I can help you with today?" Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your re re return policy if I don't like the bug, like? You well, know, we back only, days. We only offer return. We only offer the return with modifications to the device on custom jobs. This is an off-the-shelf piece. All sales are final, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was like, maybe we could get that in can store back. No, it, it, you're, you're buying from the clearance off rack, dude. Like, yeah, this is stuff, yeah. this, these are orders that were abandoned, basically. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like the leftover cakes at the store. It says, it says like, you know, it's like that time, like, you know, your parents kind of broke and they bring you home the things of happy birthday, Jesse. And you're like, who the hell is Jesse? Or, oh, you are today. And <laughs> yeah, donuts, <laughs> the next, <laughs> donuts the next day. Yeah, yeah donuts the next day. Um, but uh, yeah, you uh, you do have this uh, bug that has uh, visual audio trackers with, and it can also um, uh, relay uh, radio, some radio signals on, on basic frequencies. So like, not like advanced, like military frequencies. All right, I pop out and I. Uh... I look at Y and Joey. Abby did it, man. She got it. We got it. I couldn't yeah. believe it. Yeah, it broke, check it, broke, it out. It broke the bank for you a little bit there, Abby, but you did do it. Living in squalor is not that bad. We've been doing it for a while. 
and yeah, poor my whole life. This is the most money I've ever had. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make it a, back. We're gonna make it back. They have a reason to blow your money. If you get closer to Pope, we get closer to finding out uh, what happened to Claire and why it was all worth whatever it was worth to him. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Um. Abby, give me a, uh, I want to, this is something else I wanted you to do real quick. Give me another, um, tech, give me a technology test. You should have a very, I think like a plus seven technology or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just roll, roll three, six, and add seven to it. This is yep. for a quick research test. 18. 18, very nice. So, um, you actually dug through some more records on this guy, Kazi, and looking into him, um, he has a personal relationship with the mayor of Lowell City, the, the capital of the, the moon. Despite being kind of like a low level, like kind of worker, he seems to have a friend in a very, very high place. Uh, it looks like they were like childhood friends and such. Um, and, uh, or sorry, not childhood friends, sorry. They dated in their 20s before she got, became a public figure. Um, and uh, it seems like they're friendly, but like she's been trying to keep her relationship with him on the down low. It doesn't play it up. Um, I'll share that with everyone. Could be why his record's so clean. Very possible. Yeah. Someone could be keeping it clean for him. Yeah. Hey, uh, John. Yes. With my with my cop friend, can I like find out uh, just if there's ways to, uh, you know, whenever those things happen, if there's like trails or anything about it, things are getting covered up. I mean, you're like going to trace you, those. Your your significant other on Sirius Station will get back. It would. Oh, that's the, far. That's yeah, far. I the forgot it was would get, far. Would get back to you about maybe yeah. like an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, that's far. Light okay. delay. I love it. Then I just send her like kissy emojis. That's all. Yeah, she sees like she sees you typing this really long message, and you're like, oh wait, that's right. And you go kissy emojis, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you really type it like 15 minutes. She thinks like it's gonna be this yeah. really big, big dear John letter, and it's the kissy emojis. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, but yeah, you um, uh, but yeah, you have the bug. Uh, you guys have about another like maybe like two hours for the meeting. You know where he lives. You know where he hangs out. What do you want to do? Hmm. Should we put the bug in his house or the bug? On yeah, his yeah. How soon is it from like third shift? Like, w- will we know that he's well, home right now? Or he, yeah, he's gonna go. It sounds like he goes to the watering place right after his shift. Um. And so he won't be home for a while, but like you guys are supposed to meet him, which oh, yeah. if, you do, if you don't show up to meet him, it might raise some flags. Plus, he's been told what you—he's probably been told what you all look like. Mm-hmm. Sure. Maybe we should just go, uh, go wait for him at the meeting spot. Yeah, and, then, and yeah, and the bug's about the size of a dime. It, it's pretty okay. tiny, um, but you'd have to put it like the visual element of you'd have to put it into a place where you want you could actually pick up the visuals. Figure it out. We'll look yeah. around, and keep our eyes open for perfect opportunity in place. Or we could always slip it in his terminal too if we get a chance. Okay. Or if ever, if anything happens, we just uh, we practice it on uh, Myrtle. She don't even know we have it, and then we play tricks on her like the ghost <laughs> or something. You know, worst comes to worst. Yeah. Okay. All for that. Yeah. How long will it take us to get to the the bar? I, I mean, it, it, you get there about an hour. You guys, it's on a lower, it's more of like a working class area. Uh, it's going to be early than late. Might as well head that way. Huh? Yeah. You guys head to the Crater uh, Saloon. Uh, once again, it's, it's one of these places, it kind of is a take on like the old like West type stuff. Um, but this is much more moon themed. Um, lots of like the crater theme, obviously. Uh, lots of kind of embracing Lowell City. Some weird kind of stuff on the walls, like stuff claiming to be a strut from like a different like spacecraft, and you know, kind of like wacky, uh, fun stuff. But it's definitely a working class bar. The people here drinking like they're not drinking like high end stuff. Um, they're the more base level. You can get high end stuff here if you want to, but you might get like kind of looked at a little weird. Um, but yeah, it's uh. Yeah, you guys, you guys get there, and it's 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 a pretty it's not it's not a huge place, but it's bigger than the place you guys were at. It's actually a pretty good size bar. Probably sits probably about like a you could probably fit like a hundred people in here if you really wanted to. 
Hey, so who the one gonna be to doing the talking here anyway with this with this coil? I figure we just all bombard him at the same time and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. And uh I'll so we're not trying to get his terminal anymore, then if are we looking for a chance to put that bug on this on this guy? I think maybe if the opportunity arises and we could get the terminal, maybe, you know, we talking to him, maybe who knows, if something comes up, if there's a good opportunity, maybe we bug him. Yeah, put it in his drink so you can give him a swallow it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's got a visual element. Give him a colonoscopy on the. On the <laughs> Did he? <laughs> Did we he? Um, We'd be like, we helped you out. We got you yeah, yeah. in your stomach. You gotta help us out. He never wore a hat in any of those pictures, huh? No, no. Yeah. He, 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 he you get this take on him. Like he looks like he's, in, he kind of reminds you of some older photos of Belters. Um, he's on the physiology side of going towards Belter, and not because of like surgeries or weird things. It's just because he's lived on the moon the whole his whole life. Um, your suspicion, Abby, is that he probably at some point stopped taking the bone density drugs. No, we didn't go through the treatments like most of the kids here on the moon did. It might be beneficial for you, know, you Belters to really talk to him. Might connect with you better than he will me. I don't Possibly. know what kind of things uh, in it like that might have in common with a belter, but I talk to anyone. I talk to that wall over there, so that sounds fun to me. <laughs> so it, it's actually kind of interesting. Uh, the Abby and uh, Onyx and Jack are but you come into the bar and like you look around initially, and you're realizing most of the people that work here or most people that are coming here are like belters, belter type types. Uh, they're not like OPA, they're not, no one's like representing the split circle, no one's like, you know, throwing the tattoos around, they have some worker tattoos, but not like, not the hardcore shit, you know, um, but they're all, they're all kind of hanging out working, uh, the, mu the music is definitely Belter coming in, you're pretty sure you heard this song first on Siri a while back, um, maybe heard it on Eros here and there, um, but, uh, yeah, you can kind of like it looks like a pretty you know happening place actually. A place you guys can all kind of fit in a little bit better than, than you have with the rest of the level. So definitely different than car car electronics. I will yeah. say I leave my sleeves rolled up now, so my oh. OPA tattoo does show all the time now. Okay, yeah. so, you, so you roll it up and you, should, you, you flash the split circle. Okay, you get a few nods. Um, people don't try to make contact too much, but it's it's there's definitely kind of like a like some people give you some weird looks like shit. Okay, like that's interesting. Um, but yeah, you, you go and flash the you flash the uh, signage. <laughs> um, mm. As you as you do, uh, a wait staff comes up to you, Abby, and says, "Hey, uh, help you all with some drinks uh, before I uh, to bring back to you all." Yeah, you got built a loud lager. Don't have that here. We got some Luna based stuff that with uh, some similar yeast, uh, maybe some similar yeast if you're interested. Yeah. I guess if that's what you got, that's what you got, but it's not a good, right? It's different. I wouldn't say it's, I know what you're talking about, though. I've, I've had the Belter Laga. This is a good one, but this is, it's a, think of it as Luna Laga. It'll be on par. Mung beer? <laughs> Mung beer? Yeah, it's a little, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can get you some of that. You want some, some more fungal base? We can do that. All right. Hey, you, you work here a long time? I have. Been, uh, been working here now for about, uh, nine years. Uh, why you is, ask? Is it the is it the Belter person? Uh, he looks Belter-ish. Uh, he's 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 an Earther. Like you're guessing, he's like one generation of becoming Belter, like one or two generations. Okay. I uh, we just meeting somebody. Uh, I feel I never really know. I whenever I meet somebody who from the Innes, uh, I never know how they're gonna respond to Belters, and I just wondered if you knew that guy. Knew and what I guy? Tell, I tell the name. Oh, Kazi. Uh, oh. Uh, Kazi, yeah, yeah. Uh, is he expecting you? Oh, yeah, we meeting him. Uh, he looks is he the kind of guy that like to drink a lot? Because that's my kind of guy, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, he's, he's not, you know, I, serve, I serve him regularly. Uh, he kind of looks over to Abby, though. He looks down at your tattoo, Abby, and he kind of goes, uh, uh, this isn't any kind of, like, risky business, is it? I just nonchalantly just shake my head. Okay. 
Um, he's like, because we don't want to, we don't, we don't do none of that trouble stuff out here. You know, you got, you got what you believe. That's great, but everyone here is working and trying to keep a job and feed a family. So we want to make sure there's no trouble. No trouble. Hey, man, can you do me a favor? Whenever Kaza get here, will you just keep bringing the shots? To you? Uh, to, to the table, man. Just, uh, I'd pay you a little extra and just keep saying that they're coming from uh, some other people in the bar that just keep buying uh, shots for him. I just feel like I, like, get along with him better if we both drinking, you know? Okay, okay, well... Look, you're looking for Kazi, uh, that, that's him, and he, he points over to the end of the bar, this big, long bar, asks a bunch of kind of like taller humans, uh, and, and you see the guy recognizing his facial hair and stuff like that too. He looks like a nice guy, he's got nice eyes, uh, well sculpted, he's uh, like, uh, his facial hair is very cleanly kept, um, looks professional. Um, kinda, his dress style kind of reminds you a little bit of Fred Johnson, but like, minus a, a few kilograms. Oh, he's just sort of drinking. With, he's got a bottle of like looks like whiskey there. He's just drink, 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 drink all the not drinking all the bottle, but drinking like shots here and kind of talking to some people and hanging out. Oh, that's him, huh? And I look at our friends. You think we uh, give him a minute uh, and go over there? Or do you think we send him a drink and then wave? I say we send him a drink. <laughs> yeah. And we, and, we, and we put a bug in it. <laughs> <laughs> go, go right through him, right through him. Yeah. So, John, my hope is that, like, if I can effectively liquor this guy up, that it'll make it a little easier if we were going to try to bug him. So that's what I'm thinking okay. about. But um, um, it might help, but you, he probably has his own drinking ritual. You're guessing he becomes it regularly. So he might not be able to drunk might be kind of hard. I'm going to just say to that bartender, that guy, say, like, a round for us and send one over there. Tell him it's from us. Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, give me an income check, uh, Jack Rabbit. Make sure you can afford this. Uh, is it your number plus the uh, 3D6, income yeah. number? Yeah. So 3D6 plus 3, um, that is 13. Not a problem. Yeah, you easily afford it. Um, it doesn't break the bank. You you go up and you get to pay the guy. He goes, all right, thanks. It's a cool. I'll get that for you. And he comes back and the drinks come to you guys uh, in a little bit. He, the, the bartender pour, you know, comes over and gives like a nice shot to Kazi. Kind of kind of looks at it. And he looks over and he's the bartender points over to you guys and Kazi raises it and <laughs> drinks it. Yeah. And I say, welcome for the moon, bitches. And I thank you all. All right. Um, he. Uh, yeah, so he's kind of he's kind of standing there, kind of keeps an eye, keeps an eye on you, and someone he kind of taps someone and kind of keeps on looking at you, but he goes back to drink with his friends. What that guy say about this guy? Are we supposed to go talk to him, and he's supposed to come to us? I say we go talk to him. Yeah, he yeah. Him. So here's my yeah here's my question: Who is we? <laughs> so anybody wants to go with me? I'll I'll go up. And here, Wyatt. Yeah, I'll go with go, you, Wyatt. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. See, remember, remember. If you um, talk to him, say something about Khan, and then uh, yeah, I don't know. If you need a distraction, give me a signal or something, and then we try to bug him. Well, take his terminal. I'll, I'll go like this. <laughs> yeah. Give jazz hands. <laughs> jazz hands. I said jazz hands. All right. Um. He. Uh. So okay. So I, I heard all four of you were going over there, or just three of you. No, no, I think, no, I think... me and Jack have it. Yeah. You and Jack, okay. Abby, you're sitting back with uh, Onyx. Onyx is telling you about the ship and what you what they've done to the ship. They've done quite a bit to the ship, actually. Yeah, for, painted this thing. For better or for worse, yeah. Oh, they turned they turned one of the old rooms into a brig. Um. You love it. <laughs> um. So. So Jack Rabbit and Wyatt, you kind of come up. Wyatt, you lead, you lead the charge here. Jack Rabbit's kind of coming behind you. You know, strutting a little bit. And uh, he says, uh, "Thanks for the thanks for the drink, there, Koyo. What uh, what do I owe the pleasure?" We were told that if uh, you might have some work under the table, we could use help with. Yeah, yeah, Jerry. Uh, yeah, Jerry sent me over some of your details there, and uh, like, yeah, I, I could um make that happen. Um. Okay. Okay. 
Well, I got a, uh, I got a small table, there's a kind of standing room for me in the back here. Uh, why don't we head on, why don't you guys all head on back of there? And, uh, right, well, I'll have, we'll head all back there together, the, the three of us, and, uh, we'll have a chat. Oh, well, follow your lead. Trying was walking. Um, Can I, like, while this is happening, just, like, do a dial to Onyx, but leave my terminal on in my pocket? Make a stealth check. Let's see if you can pull this off. Make sure you're stealth. Make it subtle. Um, that would be a 15 plus my 4. Not a problem. So yeah, you, 19. Yeah, you managed to uh, butt dial Onyx uh, with the utmost efficiency. And um, it's now, yeah, it's kind of re- you, you hear the, like, you get the dial thing, Onyx, you pick it up, and like, you can hear it's kind of scuffled. Uh, you can hear the movement of the, of, of the legs and the, the cloth and such, but it, it's giving you somewhat of the information. And, I, and I say, um, hey, that's pretty cool. You got a table in the back. They must really like you here. He's like, well, you're, you're a regular and everything like that, too. He's all, you guys, you guys are all lucky. He comes to the door, oh, the door opens up, and he's like, it's a, <laughs> he's only got three chairs. Go have a seat. I'll be right in. I'll go on in. All right, you go on in. When, um... Onyx, you, or Abby, you actually notice that as they're going to the room, there's like another guy kind of following them through the crowd who like seems like he's going to kind of watch the door at least. He's not going in the room with him, but he's going to watch the door. Um, it doesn't, it, I mean, I don't know if that comes off suspicious to you or not, but it, it's definitely something to note. note. I feel like it would kind of make sense. Yeah. But I'll keep an eye on him anyways. Okay. The, guy kind of stands, the guy kind of stands at the door, kind of just hangs out and just, he's not talking to anybody, he's just hanging out, yeah. I want to slip a bottle from the bar, just to kind of have in my hand as a weapon if case needs. And you have like a beer bottle. Yeah. Or you have okay. a, beer, a bowl of beer, like so you can, you know, they only do bottles, so it's more like the bulbs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not covertly case. watching him. I'm straight up, arms crossed, just staring at the guy at the door. <laughs> <laughs> yep. An evil eye. Yeah, don't fuck, yeah, don't fuck with that. <laughs> All right, and the room, the back room, is, it has like clean supplies. It has like lockers. Uh, there's like some snack food on the, like some bar like snacks like packaged on. The, I mean, it's a storage room. This isn't like a velvet curtain like the Godfather room. It's a it's a fucking storage closet. I want to be clear on that. <laughs> I'd say not too bad. It has the same gunpowder spell as the whole damn station though, or the whole damn moon. So, but what are you gonna do? Um, he got yeah. This is he goes like yeah. So um. I think uh, the, they sent over a name, Wyatt. Wyatt, what kind of work are you looking for? Well, what kind of work you got? We don't have any papers and we're looking to make some money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, uh, I can see that being an issue. Um, yeah, well, well, um, looking for some work. How, how, uh, you looking just to put some boxes on a ship? You looking for something a little more risky? What are you looking for? What pays the best? <laughs> like the like I the mean, style. if you need something to fly, nobody flies a uh, nobody flies a plane like I do, man. Or what do you call? It? Nobody flies a ship like I do. <laughs> He's like, well, I like I'm not do, I don't do, once again, my job is just to get it on the ship. Once it's on the ship, be on my purview. So I, I can't help you there. Uh, but if you're looking for a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of work. I got a, I got a problem. I could I could have I maybe maybe you could solve. I, I heard you got a little bit of a crew with you. Yeah, we got some. We got more than just us. Huh? Well, look. I I get a little busy. Uh, stuff kind of once in a while slips my notice, and uh, something slipped my notice. And uh, I was supposed to try to grab it, try to make sure it made it to its rightful owner, but it didn't. Uh, unfortunately, it made it to the address on the label. Um, would you be interested in maybe trying to do a little snatch and grab for me? Probably arrange that. that, do that. How much does it pay? I can get you, get you a decent sum for the, for the job. It's just, you know, it's afternoon of work, less than a shift. This potentially maybe if we work. do a, yeah, oh yeah exactly oh yeah I can get you a bit more work with this one the um well look I uh you're gonna have to clean yourself up a little bit for this job though guys like this 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 whole like like, like don't get me wrong you know if I was gonna have you guys load some 
boxes onto a ship, no problem. Dress however you want. This one, though, is a little higher end part of town. Can um, you provide us with some uh, better get up here than what we have? <laughs> He's like, you want me to dress you too? Jeez. Well, like, I mean, I like, just, just wear something a little bit better. Get a little button down or something like that. Like a little, like, you know, like kind of what I'm sporting here. He's like, nothing fancy. It's just, you know, I got a shirt, got a vest. I look like, I look decently professional, not like a, like a, like a slob. Not the personal guys. I'm just saying. I could zip this up the rest of the way if that helps a little bit. Jesus Christ. All right. What does job like, man? What, who we, who got this, uh, this thing? Is it a big thing to grab and go or is it small? Well, it's, it's a it's a small package. Uh, it's actually like a, a crate I need. Uh, there's something in the crate that I need to get to another client. It got misdelivered. Uh, the crate itself is uh, about 30 centimeters, 60 centimeters, about 15 centimeters. He thinks just reciting the, like the exact precision of this thing pretty quickly. Um, he's all there's a uh, the package itself. He's all, it's inside of another crate. I need that. I need that box. It's, like it's hermetically sealed. Can't break the seal on it. I need that box. He's like the crate it's in though. This is what this is where it got kind of tricky. The crate it's in is it's a it's a spice crate. A bunch of spices inside. Um, I think I think it's sitting in Ming's right now. That's a it's a little uh, Cantonese joint down in the the elite district. Nice place. Great place to get a meal. Great place to get a meal. But unfortunately, uh, it was delivered to uh, the wrong import station and wasn't taken off the, uh, the pallet at the right time. So we got to get into Ming's, get the thing out, bring it back here. Yeah, and, uh, you know, at no point am I associated with any of this. Where are get we the... taking the package once we get it? That's what I'm asking. You don't want it in the spa, do you? Well, the package is pretty easy to conceal. It's, it's not very big. I mean, he's, it's, you know, it's it's not a big package. Um, but you can sort of, I think you guys might be able to move that around pretty easy. The crate would be a problem. The crate's, the crate's a big thing to kind of move around. But, uh, yeah, there's a, um, I think right now, it, I, I, see, I think it's either, I guess, I'm not sure if it's at Ming's or if it's at the importers yet. I'm not sure which one it's at. That's my problem. So it's either it's somewhere either at the at the uh, uh, buys imports or it's at Ming's or on the way between right now. Well, we can we, I'm sure we could find it and get what you want. What do we get out of it and where do you want it to go once we have it? Well, why don't you uh we'll, we'll meet up not too far out. Uh, why don't you come by my work? Come by the docks. No problem. People come in and out there all the time. Uh, I got a shift here the next day. Just pull out of the package for a little bit and bring it on up. But I got a clientele here on, on the, that that's uh, hankering. They're uh, they're running low and they wanna they wanna re, they wanna refuel. What's in the package? <laughs> it's like that's, that's on a need to know basis. You gotta to apologize know. for my inner friend here. He don't understand. Ben does know not to ask those kinds of questions. And I'm he's like, whoa. He's like, well, like, yeah. He's like, well, I don't get shot. Look, at he's like, let's be, I mean, he's like, I'm no belter, but like, you know, that's like your friend flashing her colors out there. We don't really do that around here much. No one does that. Where I'm an independent operator. I'm not trying to mess with the Grigas, any of these Black Suns, the Voltaire Collective, any of these OPA maniacs out in the belt. I don't I don't want nothing to do with them. I'm just operating here in my own little sphere. Don't mess with nobody. Nobody messes with me. It's, good. it's a good gig. All right. I'm down if my uh, partner here is down. Okay. He's like, yeah, so your option like, so your option is simple. Break into your buy, see if they got it there. Um, or you can try to grab the package from the couriers. Or uh, try to get into Ming's. Find out with one of those three. It must be a nice gig you got here where you can just go to the spa, hang out, have drinks like that, come back here. Pretty cool, man. You live in the good life, yeah? It's a lot. It, 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 he's like, you know, it didn't come easy. It took a lot of time talking to people, making sure the right people knew my name, making sure the right people didn't know my name, even all the books. But uh, you know, it's, I appreciate it. Go-getters like you. That's, that's what that's what we need more of here on the moon. 
So anytime we need another job like this, we just come back to that bar and you talk to people here like yeah. this. That's cool. Yeah, no problem. Come on in anytime. You're welcome here anytime here. Uh, he kind of says like a really awkward belter to Barata. He kind of overpronounces it. John, I, as I'm saying this and looking around, is that is there like one entrance into this space? Like, are there vents like that you can crawl into? Like, there, there's like air, there's air uh, recyclers, yeah. There's the air recycling system. So, like, technically, we could maybe break in here and put our little bug up in a in a vent type of deal. Uh, that would be a really shitty place for a bug because the air recyclers are very loud. Uh, okay. Yeah. There's the one thing the Expanse novels will tell you is that air recyclers are loud, over and over again. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's um, you, you'd be better off trying to put it under the table or like on a shelf or something in here if you're if you're looking for a spot, or even like slip into a locker maybe, on top of the lockers. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we never did discuss like how much how much we get paid for this. Exactly. I was like, I'll I'll get you a reasonable slip. Basically, he he puts up that he would give you enough for a uh, plus four temporary bonus to income. That's pretty good money. Yeah. Well, it's better than what I got now. So. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, like I said, low impact one. He's like, I'll, I'll put it this way. If you get caught with these goods, you're not going to be put away. You might have to pay a fine. They, they're probably going to get confiscated, worst case scenario, but they're worth a bit on the market here for me. I need, to, I need to give them to my guy. All right. That's a little more reassuring. All right. Yeah, no, nah, he's like, it's just, it's... <laughs> People got taste from. They got a lot of people coming from the from the gravity well up here, and they got taste that they they yearn for from that place. And you can't get it up here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I think I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. It's all natural. He's like, but I'm gonna be clear. It's all natural. Nothing's gonna like hurt you. So just be clear, like you know. So. <laughs> it's his weed. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So I, I imagine it's like a stand up and leave time. Like, is that kind of signals like job parts? Yeah, he's, he's giving you he's giving you two locations, and then he says like there's there's a there's couriers for uh, your buys. The um they're the ones you you could hit. So you have the option of trying to break your buys, and try to snatch stuff, enter the courier, or try to go to Ming's and try to figure out a way to get the the packet, get access to the package. We can discuss that one or not. He's like, yeah, he's all figuring out a bunch of strengths, and I'd, I'd rather you figure out your own strengths than me telling you how to do the thing. You know, I, I, I'm just telling you what I want done. You, you know, I, I, the way I manage my people on the docks is like, you figure it out. All right, we'll meet you. We'll give us, uh, yeah, we'll meet you at the yeah, docks. Yeah, we'll just get, you get, get, we'll see. I'll be back here at the same time tomorrow. We'll, we'll, we'll do the exchange then. No problem. Just keep on the lowdown. Don't open it up. Uh, and I, he's like, I will know if it was open. It's got hermetic seals on all that kind of stuff. Okay. Now I really want to open it up just to see what's in it. Oh, come on, Wyatt. Always, uh, always got to be kids like them Martians. Always got to do those things. They don't. Know, he don't know what the abilities know about. What we don't know is better for us, right? And I like nudge Wyatt, like meaningfully, like let's get out of here. We can talk about opening it together later. Okay, let's bolt out. We'll we'll, we'll talk to you later. All right, I'll see you guys talk tomorrow. Darker. Thank you. Yeah, you guys walk out. He opens the door for you, everything sees you out, and the guy you see is like his guard kind of outside nods as you guys walk out. He guy goes off casually and everyone comes out happy and safe and you go sit down with the rest of your crew. Yeah. I heard everything. Yeah, you heard you heard a good portion of it, uh uh pretty clear. You and Abby got into that conversation. I think we need to get out of here if we're gonna talk about this. It's too close to that coya here and all these people they're friends with him, you know? Yeah, I agree. We could just walk for a little bit. Yeah. We kind of go scope out all these places and talk about it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because I, I, as soon as we're outside, I'm like saying to Wyatt, because I don't know about you, but we're not giving out whatever that is back to him. I don't want to. It's probably, if it's worth maybe. something, we could just sell it and get more money. Or maybe we'll we use it as a trap, right? Yeah, use that leverage for him to give us what well, Pope, give up Pope. That's true. I don't think he's gonna give him up easy though. Yeah. I think his I think his hooks are in too deep. Yeah. We should definitely plan to smash and grab. Um, well, if, if we can meet him at the docks, maybe we could We could bug that box, that crate. Yeah. 
we could bug I'd rather, box, yeah. yeah, I'd rather bring that bug back here because that room seemed to be wherever he talked to people, you know? He, yeah. He's here all the time, he down at the docks. Uh, he gonna have that, that back backroom conversation with lots of other people. I don't know if Pope ever come here. I bet he does and he probably just call him, you know? Yeah, I mean, it is kind of a divey bar. I don't know, maybe Pope would draw way too much attention on the belt of worker bar. That's very true. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, there's just one clear thing. Sebastian Pope would never be caught dead in a place like this. Yeah. Uh, he's never going to come. He never is going to step foot in a place like that. Uh, yeah, we should go over. We should look over the security. And uh, since I, I've been studying a lot about security systems, being a burglar. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I got some demolition skills. Well, I mean, maybe any of these things we could put together and hit one of the spots. Yeah, so uh, so it sounds like you guys want to uh, hit the uh, which, which spot do you want to hit? Do you want to hit the warehouse, the couriers, or the restaurant? I think we want to let's figure it out real quick. I'm curious what you. Think. I'm thinking the courier. Yeah, it's going to be the easiest one to keep. Yeah, but they probably armed to the teeth. Maybe they carry, they're carrying something like that too. But yeah, I just, mean, I agree. If they're just carrying spices and stuff to this restaurant. Yeah, do they know man. though? Do they know? I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're bringing stuff like Somewhere. food goods and stuff like that to like a restaurant. They're oh, imported yeah. from like Earth. They're not like going to be armed security guards. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you didn't get that kind of wind off of them. He's more of like, I just want it taken from these guys. Oh, yeah, maybe that then, huh? If you want, the, the one that would be the most likely to have security guards would be like the warehouse would have probably guards inside. Maybe yeah. You just talk to the restaurant too, be like, "Hey, yeah. package on here. It wasn't meant to be here. Is there any way we can get it?" That's so honest. <laughs> <laughs> so I like, the, I like the Corio one. That's not a bad idea, though, Wyatt. You know, like uh, yeah. maybe you pull a little hot strings. You know, you say. Um, I don't need, I can't lose my job. I got kids to feed if I lose it, you know. Uh, yeah. We can even make it with your while. I'd rather pay you a little bit now so that I don't lose my job, that kind of thing. Would they say no? What do they say no? If they say no, then we just break in later. later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And get uh, a fine, a, a, there'll be a fine fight inside the Cantonese restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll just, but uh, I don't we'll know about skills. you, but I don't look like the one who'd have the sob story. It looked like you, my friend. If Myrtle were here, maybe it could be her, but she's doing her dad thing. I don't think we... Abby and her tattoos would be a good person. Well, to and she, Abby can cover them up easily. It's not an issue, but well, Abby I assume, you're, I assume also, Abby, you're covering up your tattoos on, on the way out. Um, like when... I mean, like, yeah, because... Okay. A little bit. I pull my sleeves down slightly. Okay. And I look at it and I say, you don't have to hide who you are, Abby. Yeah. Uh, we came from a place on series. Everyone all OPA now. Yeah, OPA you know, proud. We can so, OPA pride. So I'm not going to have Wyatt rule security. You're realizing that would be a bad idea on a UN controlled station this close to Earth to have an OPA open tattoo. Uh, there are cameras everywhere. Inside the bar is one thing, but yeah. You know what we could do too, completely off the subject of that, is you could we could have uh, Onyx here, dressed up as a dock worker, chase down the courier, be like, hey, wait, 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 there's something on there I need, and it'd be easier than us getting all fancy dressed up and well, yeah, some more. Yeah, maybe we could try to to do yeah. the courier with the burglary, right? If it fail, I buzz you, and you hit up the restaurant with the sob story. Yeah. If that fail, we'll break bus to the warehouse. <laughs> yeah. And I either like way, that. we don't need to dress nice if we're going to go in there and yeah, sell cause I, night I, ain't we, I ain't wear no coat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like still like, um, but we still have those clothes from that uh, van. I got that ugly skit that they gave me last night. Oh, time. yeah. You guys saw the clothes oh, from yeah. the, those are yeah. up in orbit. They're up on the, uh, well, I guess you guys pack your bags. I guess you could have them with you in the hotel room. I would yeah. figure we'd probably, in case, you yeah. know, we had to go somewhere nice. Well, you might go meet Myrtle's dad or something like that, go to dinner again yeah. or something. I forgot, yeah, you guys have that, those nice sets of clothes, yeah. From courtesy of the Marshall Secret Service. <laughs> All right. 
So it sounds like the inter interception is what you guys are gonna try first. We're gonna try yeah. that first, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Doing burglary. I'm, yeah, I want to intercept this thing. So you go ahead and uh, take a look at the pathway between these places, pull up the station map and everything. Uh, why? Give me a, a tactics uh, intelligence tactics roll. Fifteen with six on the drama die. Very nice. Ooh, that is a churn up, sir. Um, yeah, you start you start looking at it and like you find a spot that stands out perfectly to try to like grab where these guys are. It's kind of a bottleneck place. They're going to have to move the cart through um, to, to grab the path to grab this crate. No problem. It's a good spot. Um, what? give me a. Uh, <laughs> Abby, give me a um, technology uh, or security check, your choice. Actually, yeah, intelligence, uh, security, or intelligence, uh, uh, technology, your choice. Do technology. There it is. 15. 15, very nice. What did you go on the drama die? Uh, five. Five, okay. Um, you kind of dig through and like, look at these cameras, and, and, and this point that like uh, Wyeth pointing out, there's like a there's a specific element of angle on it where you think you could get away from some of the cameras, the security. So if you guys do try to like jump these guys or like try to like intercept them, you're not going to have station security on you immediately if it does go wrong. Although it seems like with the stop and the kind of like the slowdown traffic, <laughs> uh, you might be able to have like Onyx or um, Jackrabbit just like kind of go off and grab the thing and walk off. Have it kind of fall off the truck. Yeah, we do. I want to do that right when the churn hits ten. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So you guys kind of check the state, the spot out, and uh, who wants to actually do the actual grab? Jack Rabbit. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, Onyx is the burglar, burglar guy, burglar guy. But I, I could. I mean, it it just allows me to sort of have intel on the security around it. So maybe I could provide you with that information as you're I, doing well, the action. At this point, uh, honestly, your best bet to help out is just to provide a distraction for the driver. Like, make okay. his life a little bit harder temporarily while Jack Rabbit trying grabs his crate. I'm also really Perfect. good at doing the distraction stuff, too. So <laughs> yeah. get up to you, Onyx. I mean, sure? where, yeah, whatever you think you're better. If you think you could talk to talk the driver about maybe piloting, the driving it better or faster, or that you're the union driver and you're, he's taking your job. I don't know. And I just go up there, <laughs> shove, shove the Oh, box. man, it sounds like you know what to say already. I'll let yeah. you do it. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. So, Onyx, uh, you kind of come to the inter this kind of intersection, like, slash, like, like uh, kind of wide junction. It's kind of awkwardly set up. And you wait for a little bit, and you can see the you see the, the courier with the Yabai um, Industries uh, uh, good storage, like, logo on it coming up. And uh, what do you want to do? I want to try to distract him. I'm just gonna like basically like wave him down, you know, with my toolbox, like, oh yeah, oh yeah, hey, hey, just kind of like get the attention. Okay. Uh, he kind of come, he kind of slows up and says, "Uh, you okay with something wrong?" Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, I'm part of with the union. We're inspecting all the vehicles to make sure that they're up to date. The air, the recyclers, they've been picking up extra air pollutant and stuff. <laughs> and uh, you maybe got a leak, man. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta take a look real quick. He's like, what? Uh, give me a communications deception check. I have deception. All right. Let's see. You are a liar. <laughs> plus, <laughs> plus three. All right. Okay, shit. Okay. <laughs> nine. Okay, so nine, three, twelve. I got a one on the drama, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick that drama up with some fortune. I mean, you do have a success. Oh, I do. Okay. All right. Yeah. Then I won't. This is the one. Okay. okay. So you, you go up and you kind of distract the guy and he's like, wait, what? Like, I, I don't understand. Like the union's doing inspections here now. Like, well, shouldn't we be doing that back at the, st at the thing? And like, yeah, like, we missed like, it. We missed it. it. Yeah, we he's missed like, did it. Did I miss we... one? Oh shit. No, no, we missed it. We're late, man. I, I'm going to get in trouble. You do me a favor. Right. If you just stop, it just take a couple minutes. I'll hop under, I'll look so, at everything. All right. While they're talking Jackrabbit, uh, do you want to try to snatch this crate? Yes, I do. Is this like a closed <laughs> thing? Is it like no, a? No, it's like a cart. It's like a. It looks like a, it's like a like a fancy uh, golf cart with like, okay. a, with like a small little bed in the back that's carrying a few crates. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna hop up in there. Okay. With my little self. 
Yeah, you don't have to hop into it. Yeah, you kind of okay. Yeah, you hop up onto it. And you, you think you have the right crate. Um, you kind of you kind of check him real quick and kind of uh, tap on him, but you think you have the right one. Give me a stealth uh, dexterity stealth check. That's a um, fifteen okay. with uh, doubles, about three. If, uh, if there's any stunts that might help with that. Um, you you kind of quickly. I'll let you do like a quick investigation, which basically you 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 remember the number exactly, and you just grab the right oh. crate. Okay, cool. Can I do the like uh, cover cover your tracks? Yeah. Stunt. Yes. Okay, that's what I'm. Gonna you do, actually like, like cover the crate, stunt. and like you actually open the crate with like haste, and like you grab, like you reach in through like the spice packets in there, and you feel around, you feel a packet like something that's out of line, kind of it's like like kind of metallic versus like a packaging. And you pull it out, and it like matches the identity of the thing. And you close the the crate, no problem. Jump right off, and then like look over to Onyx, yeah. and I go, and like, yeah, like, I look at Onyx, and I like, yeah. And you have the crate. It's about it's about it's just under two feet long uh, by, by about a foot, and not very thick, but it's like a kind of a case. Not very big though. I mean, it's not it's not huge. Not terribly heavy either, surprisingly. Okay. And I just scoot it, scoot okay. like somewhere that's out of out okay. of eye shot with a little head nod uh, to Abby. Uh, okay. And you a wink. A, you and a, a wink, like didn't you miss me? Uh, as I pull it over there. So yeah, no problem. You guys get around the corner and totally. Uh, Onyx, you don't see any of them anymore. You see like. Oh yeah. See Jacko kind of oh. scurry off with the with the. Uh, yeah, boss man. Everything looked good. I tapped it. He's like, you he didn't even do anything. No, no, I, I look it, man. I, yeah, you got no leaks. You, you're good. Just, oh, you this know, is... oh, this is the wrong truck, man. You, you're you not taking... Oh, I thought you were taking some fungal... Co- oh, this is a spice truck. Okay, get, get out of here, man. You waste my time. And I like... He's like, this sure. is... Yeah, I thought, yeah, I'll talk to the rep about this. And he, he goes... <laughs> like, they take off. Talking at people and shit. He's a little more, he's a little more angry about it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. But yeah, that was like a pretty easy gig. Yeah. Uh to grab all things considered you guys are very too easy you feel like a ninja <laughs> yeah. jackrabbit <laughs> and i just say uh yeah because too much talking sometimes we got to do some things that are fun this feels a little more belta style than all this other dress fancy kind of stuff we've been up to it, hey uh abby you think we should open this thing up yeah. or you think, what are you thinking <laughs> here do you really think we got to bring this back to that coil like this who, do, who the hell cares if we bring it in and we open it, you know? Then he don't give us another job. We don't want another job anyway. Remember, you're always wondering how we, why we always get shot? <laughs> this could get us a step closer <laughs> yeah. to hope, though. Maybe, maybe get a shot. Oh. But uh, I wonder if we could, like, x-ray it. <laughs> Is there any way yeah. to see what's in it? Uh, you could you could pull numbers on the, on, see what kind of stuff it holds, like what the case, like, is for. Let's yeah. do that. And I would, that. I would point those out to Abby, who I know is like good at. Uh, you make anything out of Abby? Can we do a technology check? Uh, yeah, just research it real quick. You pull the numbers. It's not really that hard. Um, yeah, that's like twenty three. It's a, it's like a, um, the box is set up to maintain, uh, like certain, um. What they're called, like uh, levels of humidity inside. Yeah. It's, so it's, it's it's like sits like it's it's like a it's like an isolated environment uh, box. Whatever's inside, they want to try to keep it in the stabilized environment. Yeah, didn't you say he got busted for for weed? <laughs> <laughs> for cigars or something? Are you still are you still role playing, Michael? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're making splits. Yeah. <laughs> So I guess we bring this back to him. I guess what you're saying, why it is, maybe we don't open it in case uh, there's some more work, but maybe when we bring this back, we can put that bug in there or something like that, you know? Got to figure out a way. We got to get a way to get a bug on him. But I don't think breaking into it, he's going to know. If we break into this, he's going to know something's up. This is like the trust. Uh, yeah, the, the trust yeah. gig. The the box has like notifications on it, so like seeing how it's been opened, the containment levels. I mean, it, it pulls back a full reading off of it. It says right now that everything's completely stable, and the like. You could certainly open it. Like it wouldn't be hard to crack it in this box open. I usually wear a crowbar or something like that. It's not like a secure box. It's just meant to like hold the stuff sealed. But cracking that seal will. And I'm not sure if it would ruin what's inside, but it'll definitely 
like it'll be known that it's been tampered with. I don't, I don't think we should mess with it this time, Jack Rabbit. Yeah, maybe he opened it in front of us. Do you doubt that? Well, what do you think about bugging that room, or do you think we should bug his house? Because we could still go there. I think he's probably more comfortable in that room over his house. Yeah. I mean, it seems like that's his that's his space. That's his, his office. Yeah. Where he feels a little more important than it really is. <laughs> yeah, I give you the Get bug, and you if you could slip it in. Uh, put it in the vent or put it in the shelf or wherever you want to. Was there a table when we were in there? Yeah, no, there was a table and three chairs, yeah. Yeah, we can we just stick it underneath see. the table. We'll be able we to see. We won't be able to see, yeah. We'll be able to but hear and... You could put it on top of like the, the lockers would be a good spot for it. Uh, I mean, you could slap it on top of a set of shelves. There's a lot of places to put it in there. Like the pole on the side of the shelves would be a good spot. I mean, there's a lot of places to put it in there. I think that's but the Then place. we gotta walk over to those things, you know? The, the shelves were covered in snacks. I mean, you could be trying to grab the bag of pretzels and some shit and be like, oh, look at the bag of pretzels. Oh, yeah. You love snacks, Jack Rabbit. I do you love, love snacks. snacks. Yeah. yeah, that's not Maybe a bad idea. Maybe that's those moon pies there. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. A little derogatory, but you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> would you ask her to that? <laughs> moon pie. How dare you, sir? All right. Um, but yeah, I mean, you guys have the thing. You guys have some time off, and you have like a, like almost like an hour before you have to meet him. I mean, you guys get to go grab some Z's or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I said we go back to our rooms for a little bit. Yeah, you guys go back and hang out at the hotel and take it easy. Uh, next day rolls around, no problem. You uh, you get the, the box is still there. It hasn't been messed with. Nothing on it's changed. All the number, all the little lights are still the same exact readings and everything. Bringing it back to the saloon, I guess. Yeah. Uh, did you guys want to talk about anything, like why while, you, while you're in the room before you go bring this back to Kazi, or? Oh yeah. Well, how does this bug thing work anyway? Like, uh, who oh, gonna yeah. who gonna place it? And is I it think... just as simple as dropping it down somewhere? Yeah, yeah. You just hit the button. I think one of you you guys should place it because you go in and talk to him, and we'll just wait what we waited last time. Yeah. I don't think it's a bad plan, yeah. I mean... But, uh, um... So, let's say we bring him back the thing and then we ask for another job? What do we ask for next? Maybe we'd, uh, name drop this time. Maybe yeah. name drop Khan this time. No, but we don't want to make any kind of thing that make him suddenly get suspicious of us in case he's gonna do some talking, you know? Maybe we just say we be around, we drink a lot in this bar if he needs things in the meantime. Maybe it takes a couple of days before we hear anything. I'm not sure it's a good idea to, to, to put another target on us so fast. That seems to happen on its own. It does. I agree. I, I think you're right, 100%. I don't think we should... Play it cool? Do anything, yeah, play it cool this time. How's that going with Abby? Well, since she heard him talk about me, or her flashing colors, she's good with lay and low right now okay this guy though is a, he does seem to be like the, the connection to, to pope somehow like he's been that like that's that lead you've been looking for for a, a while um and because he keeps all his stuff his business it seems like he keeps off to of, like the network that's why you weren't able to find anything on this guy mm-hmm. he's a talker he's he's a networker not a uh doesn't sit there and get on the forums and troll people out <laughs> she's willing to play it like the long game now that she has like a lead on it. Okay. She's like, okay, she wants to stay on this. She doesn't want to rush and end up not being able to get to Pope. All right. You guys roll back to the the Crater Saloon, no problem. Come on back in. Uh, you have the box with you. Uh, and this is like any kind of little box. Like no one's really paying attention to it much. It's just like you got your special suitcase, whatever it is. Um, when you walk on in, you can see Kazi in the bar. He sees you guys come on in. He kind of waves you down, points to the back room, and he starts heading back there. His his guy kind of heads around. Um, what do you uh, what do you guys want to do uh, with all that? I I do the same phone thing again. Uh, turn okay. before this time, like not right around them, but just him like talking to them, like look like I text some kissy emojis to to my uh-huh. girl, and then I like uh, while I'm there, I I turn the the thing on, let it ring, 
and uh, open channel the Abbey and Onyx and then okay. pop, pop it in. And I show uh, Jackrabbit one more time, like, oh yeah, you just turn this on and you know, like the little bug and I hand it to them. Yeah, I just this is a plan move. All you have to do is ping it with your terminal, it'll turn back on, it'll turn on, no problem. So yeah, you, you guys go on in. You have the box there. Um, and uh, what do you, uh, who's carrying the box? The Jackrabbit? I'll have the box. Okay. Oh, All right. You guys come on in. You guys go on in. The door closes. The, the His guard guy closes the door and he says, it looks like I'm going to have a happy day, huh? <laughs> Hope so. And I'll lay it on the table. He's like, well, yeah, the uh, the Admiral's running low. He's not going to like it when he runs out. Let me, uh, he takes the box and goes over to one of the lockers. Hold it. I'm just kidding. And uh, he opens the locker up, puts a little code in real quick, opens the locker up, puts the the case on there, close the locker, and he says, all right, well, about your payment. So, so who put you on to me? I thought, you didn't, you thought, you didn't just walk into a bar one day and ask about me. What, uh, who put you on me? And he starts pulling out like, um, like their, uh, actual coins, like, like kind of currency coins they use, uh, more kind of the equivalent of cash. And, uh, he kind of doles them up there and uh, it all he counts it all out and it's all there every single every single penny he said he's gonna give you so i'll give you guys each a plus can four temporary uh bonus yeah well while, while he's talking can i like uh notice the snacks and just point at them and be like oh man i've been wanting some of those whatever it is uh, hey, those moon those mung pretzels for like yeah, he's like, for, yeah for months now you mind if yeah, i no, go, go help yourself no problem yeah and i just go over there grab one put the put the thing down Give me a self check. Uh, There's a little, little, little slide of hand here action. Little legend, I got little... doubles, two fives. Oh, that's five, good. 10, 12, 13, 14, 17. Very nice. So yeah, you go up and you kind of slide. You put the the bug on the side of the uh, the, the shelves, um, and uh, yeah, you're you're good to go. Uh, you get the you get the bag and you you open it up and start eating some pretzels in front of him, and you know he's like, ah, they're pretty good. Hey, can I, um, there's an infiltration stunt. Is this mm -hmm. something I could use here? Potentially. There's one that's, it's called the high-tech hustle. Uh, like, basically, with an injection of, oh, no, I have to, like, or a quick nod to a device. You sidestep one minor complication impeding uh, the goal. Yeah, you're not, you're not in no. any complications Can't right now. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Um, then I want to cover my tracks. Yeah, you, you yeah, yeah, it's just completely no problem. It's, you planted the book quite nicely. And uh, he says, hey, so yeah, so, uh, so who put you on to me? Nobody put us on to you. We were here not long ago for an art show, and we heard good things about you as a worker. And we tried to figure if we could get a job working with you, and one thing led to another, and here we uh, are. He's, I don't, he's like, I don't buy that serendipity bullshit. <laughs> it's like nothing personal. It's, like, uh, it's just me. You guys did good work. That was, you stayed my height on that. That's one of my, good, that's one of my best customers, Admiral. I don't want to mess with him none. Um... Yeah, who put you on to me? Well, you tell us what's in the box, maybe I'll give you a name. <laughs> he kind of laughed. He's like, it's 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 silly. Okay, like, I'm just curious. <sighs> These are the cigars. A whole box of it's a it's a box of forty eight cigars. Got a guy. I got a guy that has a monthly order, and the order got put in the wrong box and the wrong thing I grabbed. It's a big mess, and we were worried about getting it late. I can't lose this client. He's a good guy. He helps uh, helps a lot of people look the other way for me. When he's when he's going through that spiel, I'm gonna look over to uh, Jack Rabbit and kind of gauge what she thinks I should say. I give him the nod, like like uh, the nod that says like go go ahead and drop the drop that name. Uh, I'll, I'll, as he's finishing up, I'll I'll kind of slide in the name Con and run with that. Like we helped him out. Oh uh, yeah, Con. Yeah, I, I've worked with him a few times. He's he gets around. He works with some. Uh, he likes to play the the game and the the offices and the corporate offices. Not really my style, but you know, I can't say no to the guy. He's a pretty sly guy. Yeah. He came out and he uh, he offered us up. Yeah, you know, you office. know where he is. He didn't come back to Luna after the, after the Titans ball. That that whatever shut down there. He got scared and ran. I think. Yeah, I'm not sure where he's off to right now. I'm sure, he'll be back though. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so what's your business with Khan? Who, uh... What's your business with Khan, man? We, you, you were earlier, you were saying... Bring... Khan's got some connections in, into the bigger corporate world. Help me bring some stuff here, some special, some special items for special people. 
I just say, and you know, you ask for someone who knows how to not uh, give things away. We don't give things away about anyone we work with. We wouldn't tell Khan what we just did for you. That's just the way we roll. Uh, that's why I started you guys with a low impact. Gig. I would have gotten those back. I, I I didn't want to send some some guys to shake down the, that restaurant. They're nice folks. Ming does good work. Yeah. So that sound like you got another job for us, maybe? Um. How are you guys looking for risks? Bigger risk. Bigger risk. I think, yeah. Bigger the thrill, more fun. You know. I mean, Fair you enough. can think about it. We just be drinking cool. and hanging out. Let's talk about kind of work you did for uh, Con, so I can get an idea of where to place you all. Yeah, like I said, we don't give away what we do, but I tell you, we've done lots of stuff that's a bigger deal than what you just had us do. Give me, give me an example. I've been shot um, a few times. He's like some poor schmuck wow. dying in the corner on Eros has been shot a few times. I, I, I will tell him about what we did on, like, sometimes we do things on the DL and sometimes things are known. Uh, you might have heard about us on series. We found out all these uh, kinds of ways these bombs were exploding, you know? Uh, so we can investigate things. We can find out some things. We carry cargo on our ship. You got a ship? Yeah, we do. Where's your ship now? Why you want to know about my shit, man? Well, I want to know if it's on my docks or not, if I need to be worried. <laughs> it's not on your docks. Got up in orbit? That's fair enough. Uh, which which ship you guys run with? You ask a lot of questions for someone who doesn't want a lot of questions asked of you. I got to know who I'm working with. I, I, it's like, like I said, I deal with some very, very serious clientele. People well, well above any of our pay grades here. I They want to know everything I'm doing at almost at all times. Can I read? So naturally suspicious, Jackrabbit. Can I read if he's like, like, is this really that he's wanting to check us out, or does he know more about us than he's letting on? Uh, give, me uh, give me an intuition. Give me into intuition, or uh, that's either perception, intuition, or perception, and empathy. Your choice. By the way, it's bad. Uh, to, uh, yeah, that's a seven. Gotcha. Well, look, I, uh, he's like, I got, you, you can't really get a read on the guy. Uh, he's like, I got people that I work for that, like, will cut me off if I work with the wrong person, let's put it that way. And the money's too good to, like, to risk anything with them. Nothing personal. Fair yeah. enough. We won't, we won't risk that. What we'll makes someone the wrong person? Oh, Scott, go ahead. I was just going to say, we won't risk you, you know. You keep us on the... You help us, we'll help you. We won't get in the way. We won't make a bigger ruckus. We'll, we'll do what needs to be done. And keep yeah, he's like, well, because the trick for me is this, is that a guy like Khan runs with the big dogs. And you're telling me you work with him or tells me you work with some big dogs. I'm kind of... My question, though, is how big of a dog did you, did you work with with Khan? You just... I'm gonna um, look at Wyatt now this time, because uh, I don't I don't want to say out loud what I'm trying to do, but I'm like doing the usual like I tell people lots of things like a little bit of a nod of like do I give a little more here? I'll kind of just I'll nod and agree to it. Yeah, okay. and I'll just say Not we can't much. give you any details. <laughs> we can't give you any details, but. Uh, we had some things go, we had, we knew more about what happened at whatever that station was where he just mentioned that he disappeared from. Oh, uh, yeah. Tyco? Or which, yeah, or which? and I can't tell you more than that, but I tell you that's yeah. big dog stuff, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. I had a few things coming there from, from there too. Well, uh, look, I can I can keep you around, and I'll let you know if something kind of comes up in that regard. Uh, my bigger clientele tend to have their own people work on the stuff. My goal is just to get it past notice, and once it gets past notice, they take it, and I and that's it for me. Easy life, man. Not bad, not bad. Um, but look, you guys, you know, I appreciate you're in my good graces and, and uh, very friendly. Like I said, take, take as many pretzels as you want. Oh, uh, yeah? And I go get yeah, a yeah. couple more. Yeah. So. And these cookies, too, you don't mind? Yeah, go for it. And he's like, uh, look, I, you know, uh, it sounds like you guys are just kind of interested in the kind of classic work I used to do. It kind of reminds me of my youth a little bit a few years ago when it was a little bit easier. It's got a little bit rougher lately, but uh, yeah. 
we'll, uh, we'll keep it. We'll, I'll keep you guys in mind. Alright. You know where to find us, and I point to the bar. Where? Like, yeah, going. I got. I got your details here. You can give me a call. We'll figure it out from there. Come on by the docks anytime you want to. Um. And uh, and the like. So, but I'm still trying to figure out what exactly you did for Khan, because I, I I know some of his recent business. You don't see the types that would work and that that he would put on board for jobs like that. All I'm gonna You're say just... is, there's big jobs you get where you get the kinds of people that Khan usually works with, and then there's big jobs where you get people who look like us, man. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can fill you in on any of those bigger jobs here sooner or later. Oh. Uh, all right. Well, I appreciate it. Okay. We let you, you know, you, you guys go on out and he goes to he have some drinks. You guys have some drinks, hang out and take it easy and such. Um, so, uh, day kind of goes by, hangs out. Uh, what do you guys want to do uh, for the rest of the day? I'll check in with Myrtle and make sure she's doing all right. Yeah, she's taking care of her dad. Just hanging out with him, and it's pretty mellow. There's nothing really to report. Uh, he's a little surprised to see her show up, but it's all good. Um, was there anything else you guys want to investigate? I think I would basically want to be just, like, hovering by this, like, bug, you know? like You guys can keep it tapped in, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I imagine I'm, like, real time, like, listening to, to whatever's going on. Yeah, a good good idea. Um. Okay. He um. So you, you guys wait the day out, and uh, honestly, like it's boring. Nothing happens. Like you're watching the you, every, you guys kind of keep one person watching the feed off of the bug here. Uh, it kind of it kind of pings you whenever like someone comes in the room. Um. And you kind of get some conversations. A lot of it sounds like him just talking to union reps and kind of talking about general stuff. Nothing really specific. Um, and uh, comes up a little bit later. Uh, I, I got my question: How long do you guys want to wait for a job from him? Yeah, or something from like the the bug. I'd say at least no more than forty eight hours. I would. Think. Oh. Right. I'm like thinking of the wire, right? The TV show where they like stake out for like weeks, right? Like I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm like settling in. Like I, basically, my argument would be like every lead to pulp, it goes away, man. We gotta play the, we gotta play the game here. Then, but don't we think Pope was maybe on Luna? So are we worried that he would be gone? right. You were, you were told that this guy has worked with Pope. But he's on Luna. Do we think Pope's and, on and, Luna? And 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 yeah, uh, Khan yes. thinks that that. that Hope is on Luna. So we, we, we need to fi find it fast. Yeah. So you guys kind of chill out for a little bit. Um, Should we follow him around then while we're also listening? Should we do if you want on, to. like... Yeah, you, you can follow him for the day. Yeah, we need to do it very discreetly, though. Okay. Yeah. Um, why well, give you a stealth check real quick and you try to follow him around. And Abby, okay. you can even try to hack the cameras to follow him around if you want to, too. Have oh, it kind of ping yeah. you out. That's really easy to do. Good idea. We give me a technology check, Abby, and give me a stealth check, Wyatt. While like Onyx and and uh, Jabra just kind of watch the feeds. Oh, and then when uh, maybe in our downtime, I try to build like uh, some type of weapon. Like, like, like a pist like a pistol. That's or... gonna be hard. Okay, Pistol's taser. Be hard. Taser. You, you can probably bring a taser, like a stun okay. gun. I got yeah. an eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. You so you get you get into the feeds and you get to watch them. Uh, Wyatt, you kind of stay up. And you, you got you got Abby in your ear. Um, you follow him around. The guy just goes to work. And goes back to the bar, goes home, work, home, bar. That's all he does. Um, when the one thing that kind of pops up though is um, he, uh, the guy is like clockwork, very simple, very easy. Um, you're definitely you can kind of see where like the sliminess of it is. Like he, he's like kind of setting stuff up to be kind of dropped off and, and missed here and there. And you can kind of see it very subtly, but it's very subtle. Only if you're really looking for it. Um, so Jack, I mean, you're watching the feed and like uh, in the room when he goes into the room one day and he gets in there and uh, he goes to take a call. Looks like he's trying to take it private. And he says, uh, nah, nothing. Haven't heard. I haven't. They haven't talked to me like in a month. He's like, as far as I can tell where they're going, it's just it's cleared out. Um, he's like the 
He's like, but he's like moving chemicals like that's so lucrative. We gotta hopefully they'll put another order in soon. I'd like to make that kind of money monthly, but it seems like it's drying up. I don't know, I don't know what they're on to, but uh uh it's all we're ready to go anytime they want it. If I can make it happen. Um so it sounds like that one it kind of comes off to you kind of suspicious because like he's talking about very specific stuff, and that was kind of what you heard about was that, like certain chemicals were being moved mm-hmm. or cryogenics. Um, yeah. And he mentioned a few chemical names, and it sounds that kind of lines up with the stuff you've read, and like the what that's what would go into those things. We gotta intercept that or, or hide on that. Well, it sounds like he's not delivering it. Was actually what he was saying. Oh. He's like, no one's. I have it, but no one's coming to pick it up. So what the hell? Hmm. I thought we were supposed is to get. Any, this from- is there anyone we've intersected with like a month ago that we maybe made not show up? Like, you know, like, is there anyone we've encountered or things that would timeline if I were racking my brain about people we met or things that happened? Not really. Uh, I will say this, uh, like, you haven't seen uh, Kazi mention Pope directly, and you guys haven't mentioned Pope to him. Yeah. It might be worth it just being forward with the dude. We could always easily just shoot a message to him and be like, hey, listen. Yeah, we, we got some, uh, we have some stuff that would interest Pope that has to deal with cryogenics or, you know, a yeah. Martian ar- armor suit. Like, we just kind of, something that he, he won't gonna want. Marsh, the, the power armor suit could be a big. Which you don't have. It's on the ship, right? No, you guys printed it to Anderson Dawes for all the upgrades to the ship. Oh, oh yeah, shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. You played that card. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> um. I just say we do. What's his name? Drop. Yeah. We know yeah. it's a big deal. We know that you're, you're his middle man, and we want. We, we want, want that job. Yeah, we want that high risk job. No. We want to work for Pope. Yeah, Maybe you know, like yeah, like we, we did also. It. Go ahead. We could bring it up because of uh, because of uh, the Sinclair. He wanted to know about our ship. We could tell him that story. Not bad move. Oh all right. yeah. So you all you all managed to go back to the Carrier Saloon again, meet up with him. He kind of these are the whole he kind of meets the whole crew now. Finally, talks to you all, shakes your hand. You all part of his kind of you know part of the, the feel of the place. Uh, do you guys want to try to talk to him, or how do you want to set this up? Yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can talk to him in that back room. Guys, do all of you want to go back there, or how, you know, who wants to go back there? There's only two. There's only remember. There's only three chairs. I stand, man. Just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> you you want to go this time, Abby in the Onyx? Yeah, I'm can, okay uh, to stay drinking. But he maybe he trusts you, y'all. You are talking to yeah. him all? I feel like I'm the one person that shouldn't go back there. <laughs> I don't, I know I want Abby now I want you to go back there more. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we we'll, we we'll just beat them up and we go back there. <laughs> just heard the pretzels were really good. <laughs> yes. So who's going back there? I'll go. All right, Wyatt. I'm all right, going. Jack, I want to go again. All right. So you guys go back in, and he goes. Uh, all right. So what? Do, uh, what? Do I, oh, the pleasure. What are we? Uh, what are we talking about today? We're tired of sitting around doing nothing. We need to make some good money, and we know that you may have some connections with some. Uh, Somebody a lot richer than we are. <laughs> he kind of laughs. Meanwhile, I'm back at the chips and I'm picking yeah. the bug back up because yeah, I'm yeah. like, what a waste. And I <laughs> gra- grab that back. Yeah. I think it's double check on that. Uh... Oh, Abaraxis, Precipice, Die, all sixes. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you managed to grab the bug. Uh, and when you do, you actually crush it. Uh, what? Yeah, well, because we had even tr- my all sixes. We had turn ten. Oh, <laughs> I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm, gonna chalk, I'm gonna chalk this of up course. to a, I'm gonna chalk this up to a minor inconvenience. Yeah, of it was a minor issue. No one died. Take that other thing. Oh, we shot. lost a bug. We hey, lost a bug. <laughs> um, you kind of you kind of crimple up your hand. Like, oh, screw it. It's a piece of shit anyway. That's, why we, that's um, why we can't have nice things. Uh, but yeah, he's like he's like well, his he, I'm gonna. Well, the truth is, I'm in the same position. I got, a, I got a big client that's gone dark on me. I'm trying to get him. I'm, I'm hoping, but every single uh, communication with the guy's been one way. So all I can do is wait. 
we wait. You get a job from him. You contact us. Uh, don't you want to know? Like, he's like, just, just take whatever job is good. He's like, that's a little reckless. He's like, and, and like I said, what they what they tell us to do is pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. I'm bringing new people in at this point might be a little risky on my part. Nothing personal. We want to work with Sebastian Poe. <laughs> he laughs. He's like, yeah. Yeah, we all do. That, that, I got a whole line of folks out there that, that, that kind of gotten worried about some Pope contracts coming in and out of here. He's like... How do, go ahead, Jack. Howard. How do we get a hold of him so that he can make that uh, <laughs> decision like, for fucked. himself? He's like, you don't. That's, that's his trick. You don't get a hold of him. He gets a hold of you. I'm just waiting. I got a whole, I got a whole tanker full of crap that he's been grabbing on order. He told, he's got a standing order for. Just waiting. They're doing nothing. Just on the docks, just sitting there. Well, it's up in orbit right now, but like I, I, you know, and I'm looking like an asshole holding it here. So I don't know what he's doing. I, I don't know if he moved on, if he's still here, whatever. But like, he's like, look, I, I can. He's like, look, you guys know, you guys know the truth, man. Pope's got his finger in everything. He, he's, he's got his big industrialist. He's up there with Mal Quick. He's like, hell, half that shit you're probably wearing, he made, his company made or shipped out. You think but, uh, here? Is he here on Luna? He, well, at least last time I checked, but I don't know where the hell he is. That's kind of the trip of it. Like, he's his, he's been putting all the specialization in, like, high-tech medical research crap, uh, cryogenic stuff, whatever the hell, is way above my understanding. I don't, I don't understand any of it. I just get the stuff that he asked me to get. But uh, he's got a residence here on Luna... But he doesn't use it much. I don't think he's been there for years, honestly. But uh, let's go knock on his door. Good luck with that. He's, he's got a, a Kara Kara tech set up in there. He never gets through the front door. He's got security guards and everything. I didn't say I want to go through his front door. Where's this? Where's his residence at? It's like you, you can find it easily. You know where it is, honestly. It's actually pretty okay. easy to find. But he, like, as according to reports, he hasn't been in Lowell City for years. At this point, he's kind of gone dark. He says, but look, he mostly lets his friends and his acquaintance talk to me. I, I've only talked to Pope a few times directly, but he always got he always has an in-between, even to his in-betweens. Guy's paranoid as all hell. Um, but like, what I think you're looking for is um, he's got some sort of off-site operation here on Luna. I don't know where the hell it is. It sure as hell ain't in Lowell City. It's not within eyesight of Lowell City, but somewhere here on the moon. But uh, he, it, it's interesting because he bought this like about a year ago, uh, a little over a year ago, he bought this like old aluminum refinery and it was a weird purchase because no one's refining aluminum on the moon anymore, but he bought this thing and uh, it's it's been out of order for over, God, over, they haven't used it since like the 21, 2100s, 2200s, but uh, some sort of accident or something that happened, but like it's, I think he's, He's doing something out there with biotech, and he doesn't want anyone looking, and I'm not going to look. But tell you what I can tell you is I can tell you where we meet, I can tell you where we drop the stuff off. I would very much appreciate that. Yeah. Um He's like, so there's some old transport tunnels not too far outside of Lowell, Lowell City here. They used to use to move the stuff from the, the refinery out to these, the, when the docks were used more for that stuff. Um, it's all decompressed. There's no there's no atmosphere out there. They're all decommissioned and everything like that, too. If you can get out there and take a walk through, you might be able to find its base on the other side, but I don't know. Um, otherwise than that, it's like you're welcome to go start go out there and try to walk around, but the, the park guides will get, you, will get you before you get too far. It's worth checking out, at least. Um, you gave us a little more than I thought you would here. Yeah, oh, well, look, man, you guys helped me out and made sure the Admiral stayed in my good graces. And I, I, if I, losing the Admiral, <laughs> he's not the kind of guy I want to piss off. Probably not. Our offer still stands, though. If you need help, we could always use a little bit of money. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep you in mind. I'll keep you in mind. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. If you follow those tunnels, it's got to be it's got to be somewhere on the other side of those tunnels, though. But they go on for a few kilometers out there. Um, and uh, yeah, oh, I don't. Yeah, I haven't seen much. I 
Nothing I want to do. I don't want to like going on to hard vacuum too often when I don't need to. That's, that's understandable. Um, we'll look into it. Yeah, yeah, well, good luck to you. I, I'd i probably be a little more loyal to him if he kept the business going, but like something changed. Something like got kind of weird. Like, he should, whatever he's doing, he was ordering his things like repeatedly. Now he just stopped. Why? When did he, when did he stop, man? Two months ago. I've been holding... he needs. What's that? Maybe he has all he needs now. He does. But this is all. Just... Line up a few months ago with like any like where does that line up on terms of what's what's happening with us in relationship to him? You your guess is that whatever he got on Prometheus got back here, and that it, it's he doesn't have to get the chemicals he needs to do the cryogenic research anymore. He has a different kind of something else is going on. He's he's pivoted somehow. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah, I think we got. I think we'll uh, we'll leave you be. If you need us, you know how to get a hold of us. We know how to get a hold of you. Sounds good. If you hear anything? Maybe shoot us a message though. Yeah, he kind of. I'll let you guys know. Uh, like I said, unless he's paying me, I don't have a whole lot of loyalty to him. So I just want to piss him off. Him and his little security force. But uh, they don't have a lot of jurisdiction here in Lowell City, so. Hey man, we'll, we'll let you go, and we'll uh, we'll be in touch probably. All right, or so, not. yeah, sounds good. Well, if you if you catch him, don't tell him I told him I told you anything. I won't say a word. Sounds good. All right, and let me if you guys do get back, let me know what the hell he's up to. I got I gotta know. It's damn weird. I mean, you did let us know it was in the box, so I think we might be able to do that. <laughs> he's all fair enough. He's all yeah. They don't like smoking out here. Um, all right. He gets up and goes to let you guys out. So I'll Abby, shake his hand. Yeah, he shakes his hand. He's all right. He's a good guy. Uh, Abby and Onyx guys heard the conversation. Yeah. He um. You guys kind of come back, reconvene. Some of these tunnels are like, it was your best lead at this point. Uh, take these tunnels. Um, okay. Yeah, they're decommissioned transport system. Uh, lunar lunar transport system. They were the first like like system for transporting like uh, ore. And mining stuff off the moon, but like no one mines on the moon anymore. Um, it's too messy, especially with the settlements now here. Um, and is there equipment we would need, or is that the kind back of suits we have on the ship? Though, yeah, okay. Yeah, and you guys, and you guys can like go back up to the ship really easy to transport. That's actually pretty affordable to get to your ship and everything like that too. It's just it's just up in a docking bay up in yeah. space. Um, we don't I, need anything else from a car, car electronics. <laughs> <laughs> now that we got screwed. Got a little bit of money, yeah. You're going to yeah. burn it on one go. That, uh, by the way, that's a temporary bonus only good for one check. But when you oh, blow okay. it, you blow yeah. it. Um, <laughs> I'd like to find, like, records of all the tunnels as, or what's yeah. known, I guess, or what's publicly known. Oh, yeah, the, the, the tunnels are all publicly known. I mean, you can go to, like, a, like a history museum of the moon and I like, find it. Uh, when he talks about the park rangers, so the outside of, like, the, uh, the moon surface is, like, kind of like a national park. Uh, you're not allowed to go walking out there without guides or like um, the park rangers. So you can get caught. If you get caught walking along the surface of the moon, you will be picked up by authorities. Mm. Um, and they will see you. because there's, there's nothing to hide behind. Yeah. <laughs> there's no bushes or trees or little squirrels. It's, Maybe we can get like a day pass to go. Yeah. You certainly could, yeah. And you can hire a ranger to take you out there and stuff like that too. But having them take you out further might be a problem. Um... The uh, the tunnels though. Maybe we can get uh, Myrtle's dad to pull some strings for us. You know, use yeah. the military connection. Definitely. Or yeah. get some yeah, get some ranger suits for all of us. So then we look like the park rangers. Yeah. We go wherever the hell we want. Yeah. So the, but like I said, these are decommissioned tunnels. So there, there's part of the systems that are, you can take that system up to where those tunnels where he's he told you where the tunnel where they were doing the drop offs are. But then uh, you're going through these tunnels through vacuum for. A few kilometers. Um, the tunnels are covered, though. Like you would be not noticed, but it's also in a tunnel versus being in the open. So there's there's that kind of play check off. I mean, obviously, bringing the Sinclair down to orbit to the surface anywhere is not going to be welcomed. You will be shot. <laughs> we don't want that. No, you you yeah. The the UN will have something to say about that quite quickly. Yeah. 
Sounds like we're climbing in tunnels. Yeah. Well, it looks, sounds like we're taking a walk in the park. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. All right. So you guys have a course of action um, planned out and everything. That seems like things could be pretty good. Uh, you break off for the night, go back to the hotel room, take it easy. Um, what what is uh, what's Abby's attitude towards this whole thing? Um, I think she likes it. She's very intrigued by the tunnels. Um, as soon as she heard that, it definitely started, you know, sparks going in her brain, um, thinking of all the possible uses for the tunnels, not only for what we can do, but like what is probably going on in the tunnels. Yeah, it sounded like they're just using the tunnels to move the stuff for this, mm-hmm. this. They're taking this refinery, and the refinery, based on the maps you're pulling, like it is off of the tunnel, so it would be hard to like pull whatever you yeah. get off of those, those tunnels to do that. Plus, the tunnels are covered, so they're not going to see it from, from the from orbit. Yeah. Um, so it seems like that's a, that's a course of action you guys can take to uh, get to this place or something like that too. Um, you're gonna spend spend some time doing your logistics, get your back suits down. Uh, any other kind of gear you want to try to take with you. Uh, we'll figure that out off uh, off air here tonight and the like. Um, but I think that's a good plan of action. I think we can end there and kind of set it up for the next session uh, and the like and Ooh. such. So, all right. Well, thank you everyone for watching and hanging out this night. Um, the uh, the giveaway still going. You can go ahead and enter by entering the word Luna as the moon, and you'll be entered to win. We'll go ahead and pull out here in a second. Uh, Lauren, thank you very much for hanging out this night. That was, that was good to have you back. Good to see you. Uh, it's always good to have you here and hanging out with us and such and hacking into. Listen, your rolls are nuts, man. All of your rolls were like absurdly high. Listen, it is my wormwood coffin case. <laughs> I always Yay. roll a mini this <laughs> every nice. time. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, well, let me go ahead and see. Anyone else going to enter in today? Uh, we've got no one else. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to go and pull the thing. Uh, real quick before I pull, let me just mention that next week, uh, it's not going to be episode 21. It's going to be the one shot, Escape from Eros. we got a great crew. Uh, if you guys know what happens on Eros, it's rough stuff. Uh, it's going to be a really good horror game. We want to do kind of, we're hoping maybe like a two to three hour session. We're not sure yet. We're going to see how, how it goes, but aiming for that. Uh, it's for a good cause. Take this. You can donate and check. Uh, I'll put the, the links up on Twitter uh, for the charity. You're going to be able to like uh, give people re-rolls, have people find stuff, take things away, make them break, make things get more difficult. Um, and a few other good things. And Green Run has donated some really good, bu- uh, huge, actually complete bundles of the PDFs for the Expanse role-playing game. So you can get everything uh, for a low price and help out uh, a great cause. Okay. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and pull the name for the night. Uh, where is there it is. Our winner tonight is Crazy Grouse. Crazy Grouse. Nice. Very cool. Um, I will go ahead and contact you and get your information and send you off this fine uh, vinyl record and such. Oh, oh, it shows yeah, it's very score. nice. That's a score. Yeah. Very nice score. Excellent album. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. The, uh, the deep purple cover is out of control. I still can't get over that. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for uh, tuning in, uh, and everyone. We will catch you on Wednesday at 6 p.m. with the one shot. I'll go put more information about that on Twitter, so please watch it. Lauren, thank you again for coming to hang out with us again. It's been a while. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you. Yay. Hope you had a good time. Everybody, uh, we're going to go ahead and hit a raid here as well. So let me go ahead and get that settled, and we will see you guys Wednesday. Bye. Hey,